All right, welcome, folks. We are picking up with part two of our religious Celts game that I've called the Book of Kells. In part one last time, we were able to found a religion. Uh, also had some really, really ugly results with barbarians. <laughs> one barb archer that raised a city and killed four warriors. Hopefully that is in the past and uh, we will be able to continue pushing forward. Um, my long-term goal is I would like to try to use religion to win a diplomatic victory. Now that may not be possible because the diplomatic victory is pretty finicky in terms of getting the AIs to vote for you, but uh, that's, a, that's kind of what I'm trying to drive towards. Uh, we've done a good, pretty good job of spreading religion thus far. So 16 cities have religion and there's plenty more uh, to go here. If we're looking at the religious map here, Christianity. So uh, pretty much everything up here. Oh, what's going on? The game freeze for all of a sudden? Come on, Beyond the Sword. All right, there we go. It was frozen for a second. Um, so we've done a pretty good job of converting uh, everything in the immediate vicinity. And then Portugal would probably be the next long-term target. Um, I will probably need a few more missionaries to lock down Greece and then can start pushing towards Portugal. Uh, we still don't know what's in the deep south of this continent just yet. And then we've been trying, at, right at the end of the last session, we were trying to settle this, uh, this area down here. So we'll definitely be working on that as well. Uh, there's one settler that just landed here. And then I think there's another settler that's en route or is being built. Yeah, here's another settler right here. And I probably need a third one as well. Uh, I'll probably have Animal Farm just do another settler as soon as this library is done, so I, I can lock down that last spot there. It is possible to build a canal, it's true, um, on the Western Ocean. Uh, yeah, but that would require having control of Germany and I'm not planning on fighting with Germany. Cutting the Grassland Hill tells no, the capital just is not this just is not a city that's ever going to have much commerce potential, so I was not planning on going that route. I know that you can cottage grassland tiles, or, or uh, you can cottage grassland hill tiles, but it wasn't something that I was looking to do. This is just a production city. Um, that's inferior. It's better to have your commerce, fo your capital focused on commerce, but I just don't see it. And the other thing we need to do is we really do need to try and get more culture into Bay Victus because this city, the Colossus and the, um, between the Colossus and the Oracle in here, plus the monastery and temple, Jesus, just building every cultural thing in this. This city has the, the Oracle, it has the Colossus, it has a monument, it has a Christian temple, it has a Christian monastery, and it has a library. That's like 25 culture per turn. Um, we need to start getting culture in here or we're just going to flat out lose this city to a culture flip. So the library is going to have to be the next thing. Um, uh, we're going to have to finish the library here next. Oh, the other thing I wanted to do was I wanted to build the... Actually, I wanted to use my capital to build um, Apostolic Palace, which is only a 15 turn build, fortunately. So yeah, I think that that's the next thing I get out of this city. I can have another city pop out a settler. Maybe Coppola is fine and get a settler out or something. Oh, I was trying to get, I was getting, going to get um, the Gallic Warrior out of here to try and hit this city. Well, that is probably a more immediate priority, isn't it? In my own territory further north. Uh, where would I put a canal? Oh, here. That's right. I could canal. That's right. I could canal right here. That's probably, well, wait, no, I couldn't. I can't canal here because you can't fort through hill tiles. So no, I can't. No, I can't. These are all, these three are all hill tiles, so it's not possible. It filtered out cottaging as being explicit. All right, so well, that's uh, that's a new one. I haven't heard of ex cottaging as being a uh, an explicit word. Anyway, this city has a barrack, so I think the whip here is actually a Gallic warrior. Or actually, no, we don't whip the city at all because it has no food. That's right. That's this city's eternal problem is low food. Yeah, I guess we do want a pair of Gallic warriors because this city's not going to last too long. Greece will, Greece will be making a beeline for this spot relatively soon. 
And of course, we also have to try and defend <laughs> like Valley of Kells from these archers. So yeah, I think we do want a pair of Galax out of here. Put in the overflow in Moai. Uh, so this city's finishing its Gallic warrior, and then we'll see what to build next after that. This city's just growing. Just checking on everyone. Um, this city, we're chopping out the granary, and then we'll go from there. All right, and I actually don't have that many cities. So the good news is we are about to capture a Barb City on this turn. All right, yep. So you build the Apostolic Palace. That'll also give us more uh, more points for, towards another profit. All right, Gallic Warrior. Um, maybe you do the other another settler here. Yeah. Yeah, why not? I need another settler. Why not? But I want... I don't have much overflow, do I? Uh... Yeah, I would just be whipping off tiles that aren't very good, so... Yeah, that that works for me. We'll, uh, we'll whip this... We can triple whip this settler. Alright, so... We need a name for this city, Gepid, because we're about to capture this. Judaism has spread in my... Uh, okay. It's not ideal. And yeah, I need a... Well, actually, Freddy will probably kill this archer, but... He's also got a chariot coming down here, so yeah, we definitely need... If we're going to capture this city, we need a unit down there prepared to grab it. We can put the overflow into Moai. Alright, uh, so let's see. So we have two units that are injured but can promote. Just wondering if I want to promote City Raider or if I want to promote. Like, what are the odds on attacking here? 43? Not great. Probably better to use this guy. And then we'll clean up with uh, one of the other units if we have to. Wow, so as bad as our odds were earlier, no, return control to the Roman Empire. Uh, yeah, we'll take that for ourselves, thank you. And we will need a worker up here. So we'll finally have a source of copper. This won't be much of a city, but this at least gets it to four food, and then it can work water tiles. All right. You guys that are injured can heal up here. Meanwhile, my uh, fresh Galax should head down to the south towards that potential barb city. We got really lucky there. We won all of the <laughs> won all of the battles in the city Deerp. Okay, Deerp. It's not going to be a great city, but copper is handy to have. I believe it's a doubling requirement for some of the cathedrals that we may end up building down the road. All right, so you guys I need uh, at this city. And I want to make sure I have a road connection there. So why don't you road in that direction first? And then... And then they should be up there right around when the orders pop. All right, so we've got a pair of Galax down here. Some of these Galax will probably get ferried over to the island to serve as defenders afterwards. Uh, no construction means movement is very slow. Hopefully there are no barbs that spawn on this island, because currently I have no units. I think I have a warrior up here, yeah. That could be upgraded in a, in a pinch. But, uh... Right now I have, like, no defenders. <laughs> And this missionary we said we were going to bring to... I, somebody suggested this in... Um, uh, somebody suggested that it should uh, go to that city so we can build more monasteries, and I think that's the correct call. Now, this city is going to uh, be terrible until the borders expand, but it's once the borders expand, it's Plains Hill with the fish resource and the copper. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do immediately to speed this along with the worker. Trying to think what I can do here while waiting for the quarters to pop. Because the second city is going to come down here and grab this, this spot. 
Um, and I can immediately floodplains cottage. Uh, do I need to farm one of the floodplains? I, uh, I can build a road between where these cities are going to be located. I guess that I guess I can do that. Now you're just exploring. Yeah, Alex is at war with um, Toku, by the way. See, I'd have to, and he won't give me open borders, so I'd have to declare war. Uh, I'll, I'll send this one, this scout, over towards um, J-Man's lands. Now, do I have enough to research math? Uh, almost. Actually, yes. We'll run max gold for one more turn. Or no, never mind. This will get us close. We'll run this for two turns, and then we'll be very close. I do want to get math because I've got forest chops incoming. So like now, Valley of Kells will become a better is actually a decent spot. So we want to we're going to build a lot of windmills here. Uh, although I don't think I have the tech for windmills. Yeah, I need to get machinery for windmills. But the immediate future is math, currency, and code of laws. I think definitely math, currency for the trade routes and markets. Uh, forum or a market in Animal Farm would be really nice because I've got the shrine in here. New that named the new city Jameson Town. Okay. <laughs> now, hopefully this chariot won't will maybe kill like one unit. Oh man, J J Man building hanging gardens is not great. He's got a lot of he's got a lot of cities. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, he's got eleven cities. Jeez. <laughs> We already have a resource trade going with him. Um, I'm trying to get relations up with him. Fortunately, Augustus is pleased, so he won't declare war. Alex can declare it pleased, but he's in a war, so he won't. All right, so this was going to be Jameson Town. Now, unfortunately, the maintenance costs are going to be awful down here. Oh boy, this city really needs to pop those borders, doesn't it? Uh, too bad I don't have another... Oh, oh. the other reason why I wanted to get into... Um, co I wanted Code of Laws is so I can pop into Caste System, which is really good for spiritual leaders. Like, uh, right now, if I had that, I would pop into Caste System and assign the artist, and then I could have the borders popped in two turns. So I can't do that right now, um, but I will be able to do that long term. I guess this is probably the best tile. You know what? We should mine this tile because it'll help help us get the granary done faster. That's actually the best thing we can do right now is mining that tile. And it gives it at least a second improved tile. Although this city will be able to work this floodplains tile as soon as the borders pop. So really just need that border pop. And let's get at least one unit on this island. <laughs> one unit that's not like a worker. This map doesn't appear to have been super balanced because Portugal ended up with uh, like way more territory than anyone else, just for whatever reason. All right, rode that. Now we actually do have an excess pig to trade. So let's see if we can foster this off to someone else. Well, he won't trade with us. Actually, I don't even think we have a trade connection with him. Uh, let's see. What about Alex? Do we have a trade deal going with him? We do. So I could get rice from him. I think it's better to trade with J-Man, though. He's expansive, so trading him... Oh, wait, he already has that resource. Never mind. He already has pigs. Apparently we can't trade him a resource? That's interesting. Oh, he already He already has that. Okay, so... Maybe it is Alex that we make this trade deal with. Might as well get something. People like Lapland for this city? Alright. It is a good name. I'm sorry for the previous suggestion. For the name I'm overriding. I'm sorry. But I do think it's a good suggestion. All right, so we can get math in two turns. Oh, 
Probably shouldn't have sent quite so many. Um, I was going to say probably shouldn't have sent quite so many of those units up there, but I think that's wrong, actually. Oh, also, I screwed up with this galley. The settler is in position to load next turn, but the galley is not ready. Well, it's stupid to do that just to drop the... I could have dropped the warrior off on this tile right here, and then had it loaded up. Uh, that's a bit of a mistake, because if I found this city, then I can actually pass off the floodplains tiles to uh, Jameson Town. Oh, well. All right, well, you guys heal here for right now, those of you who need healing. I think I'll save your promotion. So, Valley of Kells grew. Uh, I guess that's probably the best tile to work for right now. Then I want to get this tile improved. Oh, I could have checked Freddy for a trade. You're right. I totally forgot. Well, he has so few resources. He's super weak, so not unsurprisingly, he didn't have... Although, it would be useful to have a... Tra I sh should trade him something just so we have a we get the boost for relations. Um, I'll have to find something to send him. Well, once I connect another resource, maybe I can send him copper. He's never going to fight with me. I actually kind of forgot he was in the game because he's uh, <laughs> such a weak leader. All right, so do I want to double whip this or triple whip this? Um, hmm. So we're getting 14, uh, 16. I'm trying to think if I want to... No, we'll whip this right now. We're not really whipping off particularly good tiles. We're not really losing particularly good tiles. We're working all the good tiles already, so... Uh, we'll overflow into probably the library here. And like piggyback should just be working out. I will have to improve some more tiles here. Some of these tiles should definitely be windmilled, but I don't have windmill tech yet. Uh, Vevictus should be ready to whip its library. We'll just go ahead and whip now. One turn before technically the timer is due. But I want to get some of that culture going. Um, and I also really need to backtrack and pick up Priesthood, too. It's very cheap, and the temples are valuable, both for culture and because we're going to have Apostolic Palace. No, I'm not planning on doing Crusading. This is planned to be a peaceful game. All right. Yeah. Through the library right now. You are just going to head down here. I can queue up a go-to move order there. All right, well, it looks like that chariot just attacked and killed something. Oh, wow, Christianity is spreading everywhere. We got a free spread in Lapland, and we also got a free spread in Freddy's territory. That's nice. Saves us from having to spend the missionary. And uh, 18 cities now. I think by the end of the game, we can get this up to at least 40 cities. Because I think we'll be able to... I think we can make almost this entire continent um, Christian. We won't be able to get Toku, but, um, like, no, there's no... All the other religions were founded on another continent. There's got to be one more AI out there. So, I want to chop this to finish the granary. And then get down there and improve that. We don't get the organized religious religion bonus, but that's okay. Oh, these two, I should queue them up together. All right, well, since I can't load uh, this turn, I'll take advantage of this road network then and load from this tile next turn. Jameson Town is just waiting for that border expansion. Oh, there's more barb cities down here. Geez, that's gonna be more territory that Portugal ends up getting long-term. I don't think I can get down there to control that. I mean, we'll see, but that could be tricky. All right, the good news is it doesn't look, because Frederick uh, decided to throw away a chariot, it doesn't look like, um, and thankfully that religion uh, spread, we succeeded on the 90% dice roll. So now we're gonna put that overflow into the monastery instead of putting it into the barracks. So we actually get a lot of overflow from that uh, library whip. But we'll put this into the monastery for another two culture. 
and then we can build the two temples, and that gets us up to like 10-ish culture per turn, which at least will be enough to prevent the city from flipping, but sadly we probably will not be able to hold this tile. Um, in fact, I really don't see how we hold this one. Maybe if Dune Bridget can put culture on this tile as well. Uh, we're at 40% borders expansion right now, so that's 20, 40. Uh, no, even when it hits 500 culture, it doesn't hit this tile, unfortunately. When this city's at... Um, when the city hits uh, 500 culture and 60% cultural defenses, it hits these three tiles and these two tiles, but it doesn't hit this tile. So we are almost certainly losing the corn, and that will cripple this city long term. So that's great. <laughs> oh well, it's just one of those things. It is what it is. At least we're going to finish math and finish it in time for this chop here. And that coming in next turn at Valley of Kells, so that's nice. I'm mostly just trying to make sure um, that these city spots aren't, that there's no barbarians spawning on this little island. <laughs> I don't know where this archer's going. So this Gallic can come down here and sit outside Marion and just be ready to capture it when uh, I've got some some buddies coming down here, some more Gallics. So we should be able to get that. Um, like I said, part of the reason why my score is low is I just don't have that many cities. But, like, we took this Barb City there, Lapland. We should get Marian. We get three more cities on this island. I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, in terms of this map, we kind of started in a sardine can. We really didn't have much territory. Like, we started here. Frederick was here. Augustus was here. And um, Alex was here. There really wasn't much room to expand. I think we've done well, considering what we had available. Maybe research... I mean, so I would love to have music, but... There are just much higher priorities than trying to research one, two, three texts just to try to get a great artist, which is not even guaranteed to happen. So that's kind of a low priority. I, it's a much higher priority to research map currency code of walls because that will really help the economy a lot. Courthouses will help, markets will help, the free trade route will help. Because um, like I've kind of diverted for a bunch of silly religious stuff. I'm definitely not playing optimally. Well, I don't know that I need to get a religion, a, a wonder in this city. Um, this, the two monasteries and two temples will be enough to keep it from flipping, because it'll have enough culture. But um, it's never going to be a good city because Antium has those wonders in it, and unfortunately, those wonders are going to double in cultural culture too at some point. So he's already asked us to join us in this war. Obviously not. We're on good. We're on good terms with Alex. Oh no, actually, Alex asked us to join his war. We're definitely not helping Toku. Toku will never be an ally. The good news is everyone else hates him, so. We should arrive at certainty without doubt and truth without error. It behooves us to place the foundations of knowledge in mathematics. Could put a city on the, I mean, I, I guess so. Um, but that city would just be so weak. It's hard to justify a city down here. You're not wrong, but it's hard to justify that spot, considering how uh, there's just no food available for that spot at all. Anyway, uh, actually, I don't even want to research currency. I want to go ahead and grab priesthood, because it's super cheap. Like We'll do one turn of 0% science, and then try to grab it from there. All right, let's leave like one of these guys here and then the other ones that are healed up can start walking down to the south so now we've got to pay maintenance costs here too but oh the other thing is jameson town does give us intercontinental trade routes in all our cities that's really nice because like we're getting for cities that don't have um foreign don't have foreign cities this is also why currency will be such a big help get more of those foreign trade routes uh coppola's vignette whoops clicking on the wrong thing Coppola's Vineyard also put its overflow into Moai, and I do think that Moai is probably the most useful thing for me to build in this city right now. It's pretty close to finishing. In fact, I might work this tile just to get it done faster. Yeah, since we grow regardless, let's let's just finish Moai. Getting that double speed from stone. Uh, long term, the other wonders I really am focusing is I would love to get Sangkor because I'm going to be building the Christian religious buildings anyway. 
I'd love to get Sankor as a result. Uh, and, but um, I'd have to get to paper, and that's a little further away. But I think we might go civil service into an early paper. Plus, we even have stone to double the production speed. Uh, and maybe spiral minaret as well, but that requires detouring to a tech that's expensive and does not get any prereq bonuses and also doesn't really lead anywhere. So that's less likely, but at the very least, Sankor would be nice to get to. So you can build canals through hills? I thought people were telling me on stream previously that you can't. I was going off of that, but um, I am prepared to be wrong on that. By the way, how's this war going between Alex and uh, Toku? They are both tops in power. Doesn't look like either. Doesn't look like there's been a big fight yet between the two of them. And in terms of espionage, it looks like we're still allocating our points fine because we can still see Toku um, Augustus's far grass, and that's all I'm really interested in. All right. Oh wait, is, wait, was that two workers? What the? <laughs> oh man, really wish I could take that city, but it's just too far away. I can't get military units down there. All right, so we chop this, granary will finish next turn. And then, um, I don't know what we overflow into, honestly. I, I guess the library for lack of other options. Anyway, so we'll go improve this tile. I can protect um, with those galaxies that are incoming. All right. One, one, two. All right, it's faster just to move the galley and then unload, as opposed to moving in here. Or I can move in here, unload, move here. Actually, it's the same thing either way. It's the same distance either way. So I should move into Jameson Town, unload, because then it's faster to get back for the next return trip. Okay. Be careful of the barb road next to this scout. Where is that? Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay. Well, yeah, I didn't even see that. But it shouldn't, the archer shouldn't attack because there's only one archer in the city, and it won't vacate the city just for that. But you're right, I shouldn't, I, I didn't know that there was a road there. Wasn't expecting to see the double, double workers. Anyway, um, you should be just growing, not working that tile. I had a feeling that when the city grew, it would do that. Okay, Victus, I want you to grow into that cottage next turn, but we'll check on that next turn. Um... I already looked at Coppola's Vineyard. Capital is just building Apostolic Palace right now. It's not growing, which isn't great, but I'm, I'm basically trading away um, growth here in exchange for as much production as I can get. This is an expensive wonder, but um, it's going to be awfully nice because we're going to have a lot of monasteries. And um, well, this city is ready for a whip. We're going to have a lot of monasteries and temples down the road. In fact, I really need to be building monasteries in like every city. Redeem, highlight my message. Hill for canals looks like it works. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Now, at the moment, this is a low priority. Like, connecting these is not a high priority, but I will remember that down the road, and I'll try to make sure we do get a canal here for someday. Sadly, this uh, this boat has no... I was like, oh, maybe I can use the boat to go explore. It's like, well, there's not really anywhere for this boat to go explore right now. <laughs> um, and we're not at a point in time where I want to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? We're not at a point in time where I want to send out uh, more missionaries. I do want missionaries, but I'm a little low on production in some of these cities right now. Got more important stuff to build. So the Jewish monastery does not get the, will not get the apostolic palace bonus, so I won't try to build that. But I am going to try to get a lot of temples out quickly because they're going to get, they're inc they are very cheap for a spiritual leader. And in addition to that, they're going to get the apostolic palace bonus in 11 turns. Again, all this stuff is not super optimal in terms of like playing. This is me being a little bit silly. So fortunately, the barbs did not go after that um, uh, worker, scout, looking for the right word. 
Freddy having two galleys down here is somewhat concerning because he might have a settler on board one, but I've already made sure that I'm going to lock down most of this. Like, I've already gotten these two spots. This is the weakest of the three locations I have planned. And I do have a settler running down here as we speak. So, like, this settler is only a few turns away. Uh, it'll be, like, it'll be on the boat in, I think, two turns. Canals always work through heels. Okay. That's helpful to hear. Also, a lot of my cities are, like, just starting to become useful. Alright, you also should move out. I was going to have one, one person stay there, and then... I guess we'll just keep the warrior in there, too. This is probably a Tawa windmill down the road. Uh, I guess I'll just move here and clear jungle for a turn to avoid wasting that turn. Because next turn I'm going to move to this tile and start working on it. I was just waiting for this road to finish. Hopefully two Galax will be enough to capture that city. Although neither of them have promotion, so... I do have a couple more coming down this way. Uh, I was hoping that this city had some kind of food bonus in the fog. It, maybe it does and maybe it doesn't. I guess we'll find out. Uh, if it has no food bonuses, this is going to be a sad city, but I will still take it over not having the city. This poor city is never going to amount to too much. Um, we can chop one of these forests to get the granary done a little bit faster. So I've got two workers there. I am a little low on I'm low on workers too. I really do need to get more um, workers out of some of these cities. All right, so you're gonna finish Moai in four turns. That's a big plus. Maybe I can get another worker out from one of these. Um, the capital being tied up on the wonder definitely slows down the growth curve a bit. So you are let's see, one, two, three, four. You'll be there, and then one, two, three. I guess I'm need two more turns to load up on the boat. But that's fine because we need to move over here anyway. We'll see where these uh, ships end up going. We might just be exploring. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Yeah, so we're at break even is around 35%. So we definitely need to keep working on improving the economy. <laughs> this is nice. We're continue to, continuing to get those. Um, spreads is really nice. Almost up to 20 cities now. Like, can you imagine what the economy would look like without that? It's The big problem is the capital has no cottages. That's why we're hurting so badly on research. At least Jameson Town's not too far away from popping its borders. Then it actually becomes like a real city and not just garbage. Well, I guess it's uh, still six turns. I guess that's slower than I was hoping for. All right, well, we have to continue walking around Japanese borders. All right, you finish that. You move here. We'll get this cleared out so the city at least has a second tile. But um, this city needs windmills because the city doesn't have enough food without windmills. Like, every mine I build is going to lower the food by one. It only has plus four food right now. Like, this city's crying out for windmills on all these tiles. It'll actually be a pretty good city once it has windmills, but until it has them, it's not much of a spot. <laughs> Very nice of Frederick to let me move all these settlers through his territory, by the way. No, we're not declaring war. I'm just moving on through. Very kind of him to do that. <laughs> Hi, Kajat Uh Shrine is at plus 19 gold per turn. We just looked at it. Anyway, so... This city probably should not build the Gallic, but since it's almost done, I'll finish it. Um, 
I'd actually like to build the temple because the temple will be, uh, it'll be worth plus two production per turn as soon as the Apostolic Palace finishes. And then hopefully more than that if we can get Sangkor down the road. Plus we already have a monastery here, don't we? So like monastery plus temple will be plus four production per turn. I mean, that doubles the production of this city, which is also crippled by a lack of food. <laughs> Um, and then down the road, we can get cathedrals too. Which tech is it that unlocks cathedrals? I actually don't remember which one that is. Buildings. Here we go. Music, okay. What's the doubling resource? Stone, nice. Nice. So we actually do have an incentive to get to music. So we can build uh, Christian cathedrals, which will give also uh, retain the benefit for... Um, um, Apostolic Palace and Sankor and all that. Are those workers guarded? Which workers? Are these workers guarded? No, but um, I'm pleased with Augustus and he can't declare it pleased, so... I don't know, this is not so great. Rome uh, just pop borders here at Neapolis. That's not ideal. Well, at least he doesn't have too much here. Just has the monuments. I think he just has the monument, so this is not a big cultural city. We'll be able to push back against that because this city's going to pop quarters and we can get the temple. I mean, we need to get the Granary Lighthouse combo first, but after that we can get a temple and a monastery and push that back. So that's this. I'm not worried about this city being any danger of flipping. Um, we're probably not going to win the battle for these tiles that are in the second ring for both cities. But, um... Obviously it's annoying having this road area not under our control. Valley of Kells workers. Uh, yes, they are actually guarded. There's a Gallic warrior here. Only 20... Ooh, only 27%. That's what we get for them being up on a hill. So we'll have to wait until... Um... We've got... A four pack of Gallic Warriors. When we have all four there, we should be able to take it, but have to be careful before that. All right, also, you should be working that while we're waiting for the borders to expand. All right, so we need a name for this city, by the way. This is going to hurt us in terms of um, economy again because it's so far away. Like, the maintenance costs are pretty bad from down here. Dune Potato? <laughs> sure, why not? By the way, the land is actually better for this city than just about anywhere in the world that we've run into thus far. Oh, there's a Barb ga Oh. Barb Galley, seriously? Well, hopefully Freddy, hopefully Freddy will kill that. Otherwise, it's going to be really annoying. Dune Potato. So the good news is Jameson Town can now swap to this. Right as I finish that tile, too. Oh, well. Uh, and we're going to need workers down here, because there are a lot of tiles to improve. Yeah, I need to get a round of... My next whip should be a round of workers, I think. Because I need... I probably need four of them on this island. Two pairs of two. I have one at the moment. That's very annoying that that spawned there. <laughs> I can't move into Toku's territory, so I have to walk this way, even though it's not especially safe. Alright, so we can load onto the boat next turn. I am not worried about an, an archer attacking... Um, onto a tile where the Gallic has 75% defensive bonus. Besides, those workers, uh, those archers assuredly have the city defense mission, so they won't attack. Um, they won't attack out there. All right, so we have two, we have four Gallic warriors walking and then more are walking down if needed from, from here. Also you, I want you to just push growth, more important. I don't actually care about the library finishing. <laughs> Not that much, anyway. Similar story here. We just we need commerce. I just need cities to grow onto commerce tiles. Because we really have so few cottages. We have a couple cottages here, but that's about it. Because our whole land is nothing but hills everywhere. So, well, this city's one tile. All right. 
if you're one tile away, or one production away from finishing it, we'll go ahead and complete Moai there. So I've heard this a number of times. I've tried removing it with Alt S. I'm aware you can use that command. I have not had great luck doing so. Um, let's move back a tile because we can still reach the fishing boat there. Yes, I'm aware of that. Thank you. So hopefully Freddy will deal with this for us. Hopefully he'll win, because remember the AI gets big bonuses against Barbarians. Where did Fred's boat go? Did, did it just get eaten by the Barbarians? <laughs> Maybe he lost that fight. Well, Fred has another boat, and we can always use this boat as well. Unfortunately, this means that um, the work boat at Jameson Town has to go hide for the time being. But we'll go ahead and start the cottage there. Oh, here comes... This city's about to get captured. Unfortunately. We knew it would, wouldn't would last that much longer. Oh yeah, that's right. This unit has the walkthrough hills promotion. I actually forgot about that. Trade away the spare copper. Yeah, I will have spare coppers, but I have to connect them first. All right, so when these guys get down here, we should be good. All right, uh, so Moai's finished here. Now we can stop working this and work the water tiles, which are really good tiles. Uh, whip counter is almost reset. Let's do the temple. We'll do the temple and then we'll double whip a worker immediately thereafter. Like the temple is trying to get, I'm trying to queue up some of these in preparation for, um, whatchamacallit, um, for Apostolic Palace. So we can't move through this tile because it's an ocean tile, but we can move here. Drop. Could drop this off here. Could actually drop off the settler on this tile next turn. One, two, one, two. Yeah, that's that's just as fast to do that. So we did pass Alex in score. That's nice. By the way, what is a uh, favorite civics on some of these guys? I haven't been paying attention to that. So Augustus's favorite is representation. Well, that's not going to happen anytime soon. J Man likes hereditary rule. We probably do want to get to monarchy at some point, but it's just not as high a priority as some of this other stuff. Uni suffrage is not happening anytime soon. Mercantilism, no. Vassalage, no. Probably not. All right, so the only one that would really do anything is hereditary rule. <laughs> Poor Alex is having these units swallowed up by the barbs. I would love it if this Frederick Galley came down here and killed this, but more likely I'm going to have to send my Galley and hope I win the... Um, the odds to win are 70%, which are good, but they're not, like, overwhelming. Uh, yeah, everyone's in full retreat now. There we go. So the borders of Lapland are expanding. No surprise that city got captured by Portugal. It was obvious that was going to happen. Hey, but Christianity spread into Portugal. That means he's going to convert to my religion. That's great. Much better that my religion would spread than uh, Toku's religion. That's uh, that's pretty that's a pretty big deal, and it even spread into a large city too. So we do need to get some more missionaries down there long term. Um, but for now, I don't think I need to like drop my developments to get down there faster. Uh, poor Book of Kells is really, <laughs> or Valley of Kells is really needs uh, more tile improvement here, doesn't it? Well. We'll have this tile improved in a couple turns. Do I even have gems? Can I do it? I actually have all of the metal resources. I don't need happiness, otherwise um, I'd put more of a priority on getting to uh, forges, but I really don't need happiness right now. All right, so this will get us another, um, this will get us another cultural building, and then we'll build the temple, which is very cheap. I will probably two-pop whip a worker and use the overflow to finish the temple, because as you know, I need workers. I don't know what all these, Alex are going to do, but I'll keep moving them down here, just because. Alright. So 
So how much do we need in order to research currency? Um, okay, looks like we need about between, looks like we need close to 300. At 300 gold or so, we'll be able to research currency and that'll make a huge difference for our economy. That'll help a lot because I'll get an extra trade route in every city and it'll be an overseas trade route. So that'll be like plus two commerce in every single city. And probably more than that in like Jameson Town because it's getting that bonus. So yeah, this will that'll be a big help. Currency, as always, currency is big for improving your uh, research. So you are correct. If the Warriors moved next to the Barb City, we'd have a chance to steal. But the odds were so remote of that happening, I just figured it wasn't worth it. But you are not wrong. There was a very small chance of that. But Portugal is larger than ever. Still, that's really nice that we got him to convert. Now he'll be pleased with us. I think we already have some useful deals going with him. Yeah, we already have a trade going with him, but I could trade for stuff. I don't want to trade for Ivory because I can just hook that up. He obviously has calendar attack since he um, has those connected. No one has um, alphabet yet, though. There's a great merchant from uh, Frederick there. All right. We might as well build the road while we're here, and then we'll improve the copper. Rome recently put down a city here. Hmm. Like I said, I will have to make sure I get some production going. Oh, he used did that to grab. Oh, he what a moron! <laughs> Why didn't the city go here? He would have had the fish in range. Now, now he doesn't get the fish, and the city has no food, and it's crippled forever. <laughs> oh well, that AI. <laughs> That's the AI we know and love. Also, this city we want the uh, temple, at least for the time being. As we said, the play there is almost certainly to double whip a worker and then overflow. All right, this city is ready for its library whip. Boom, whip off those tiles. Actually, gonna get a lot of overflow into this. Nice, we can probably, we might be able to just straight up finish the, uh, the temple with the overflow. Well, no, we won't straight up finish it, but we'll get close. And yes, the reason, let's see. Well, that barb. Galley is still on its way, so I'm going to move my galley here in the hopes that this I will get attacked and win the combat. That's the hope. So then this poor little uh, ship can... Oh no, there's a settler. Oh no, am I really going to lose this settling race by like one turn? Oh no. <laughs> he put a settler down over here. Well, hmm. well, we'll see what happens. If he settles on this tile, I've lost the race. But if he settles, if he wants to move here, I might have a shot to steal this spot. We'll see. Well, let's see if the, he settles on that tile. Oh, he settled on that tile, what a jerk. Now there's no way to uh, get a better spot than that. <laughs> oh well. I don't know how the Barbarian didn't attack that galley, though. Oh well. So we won't be able to get this spot, unfortunately. Oh, the Greeks captured a... Uh, a city. Let's go send this guy back to go see where that is. So Toku lost a city to Alex. Well, now they will hate each other permanently, if they didn't already. Sadly, I can never get this fish resource now. Um, well, I think it's... Since I built the settler, I might as well put another city down here, but it's going to be a weak, weak city, since it'll never have a, any food bonuses. Maybe, though, maybe we'll be able to flip Dortmund. I think I just moved the X one tile north. It's a bad city, but yeah, we'll have pretty decent odds to flip this city. The misplay with the galley. Um, I think I think that the AI still wins the race by one turn because I was one turn slower. But 
But yeah, it's a shame I wasn't just a teensy bit faster. Also, did I... Did that barbarian attack me? I don't think it did. Oh. Well, it may have just headed off in the other direction. Well, in any case, you are right that this can't be pillaged because it's an ocean tile, so we'll just move into position to grab that next turn. All right, well, it appears as though we finally found the southernmost extremity of this continent. Um, oh well, it happens. The barb galley followed the workboat. That would make sense. Yeah, I think we put the city on this tile now with the hopes that maybe one day we can flip Dortmund. Maybe. At the very least, we'll have a lot of cultural pressure on it. From Dune Potato is a, is a very nice city. Jameson Town's gonna be a very nice city too. We just need to pop the borders and get the copper connected. Like this will be a six food tile, that's minus one. So it'll, it'll have five food plus working the water tiles. And if we convert this city to Christianity, it has even higher odds of flipping to us. Okay. I mean, the alternative would be what? Where else would I put the city? Up here? That gives it some more grassland tiles, but it would then have to compete with Cologne for water tiles. If I put the city here, it really has almost no tiles to work, does it? But where else would it go? Really needed that fish resource, unfortunately. Um, I mean, the only other spot would be to put it... I could put it here? That would give it more... No, but then it doesn't have many... Then it doesn't have, like, much in the way of water tiles to work. Yeah, I don't see any other better place to put it than here. It's a total garbage city, but... Oh, well. But it's Brave Scout Defender. No, we'll have to get actual units down here at some point. Some of these Galaks can head down to the island once, um... Once they're done killing the barb city nearby. So I will need to ferry workers over, so I think the best place for this boat is here. So Freddy does have longbows now. Alright. So now Valley of Kells has a tile that's worth working here. So the one tile to the west of where I was. Uh, I don't think I want to... Yeah, it's not worth it to put a city one tile off the coast. Although I appreciate the thinking. I don't think one tile off the coast is good. All right, so go ahead now and work on mining the copper. So we have an extra gem. Let's see if we can swing that with, uh... oh, he already has gems. Okay, never mind. Now trading happiness is not quite the same as trading, um... oh wait, no, we don't have, well, we can trade next turn. I'm, I tend to be more careful of trading happiness because the AI struggles with happiness. It doesn't really struggle as much with health. But like we don't currently have a trade going to Augustus, so we should probably try to trade for something with him to get that boost. And Freddy, we don't have anything, any resources trade, so we should probably just send him something too. I think we're going to send him copper because we don't really care if he has copper. I believe he has iron as well. Yeah, he has iron, so sending him copper doesn't really do anything for him. We'll send him copper uh, as soon as we get this connected. I don't want to deprive myself of the copper. All right, so this city should be just about ready to whip. Uh, we'll swip, swap to the worker next turn and whip it. Coppola's Vineyard is correctly working its water tiles. Uh, as soon as the temple's done, we swap to worker next turn and double whip that, I think. Yeah, and then that'll get us a pair of workers to head down to this island and help out there. Uh, piggyback, we just whipped, like, a turn ago. This city got the settlers, so this city's ready to be whipped something. I think this is another worker to pop whip, because we need workers. Also, grow, work your, work your food tiles. I'll put it on emphasize food, just so, um, it helps out with that. Boy, this city, this city's got some good tiles, up to, like, size 7 or 8, and it gets very slim pickings after I hit about size 8 here. <laughs> All tundra hill tiles. Well, maybe we can build some lump, uh, some uh, uh, windmills there long term, maybe. And only five turns now on Appstog tiles. We were the first to that religion, so I really don't think anyone's gonna snipe that um, away from us. So yeah, we'll two pop with the. Uh, yeah, we'll two pop with the worker. I was gonna say, do I even want to? But I'll get a lot of overflow. 
Overflow can probably finish the temple. We're trying to get temple plus monastery in like all of our cities because they're, they're really good with apostolic palace. Couple is here. Ah. Worker. And I said I'll get a lot of overflow on a bunch of these worker whips. Worker, overflow, whip there. That'll finish the temple with the overflow. Tech plan after currency is code of laws, um, in part because the courthouses will be nice, and also in part because um, I, uh, I I also want to be able to make use of caste system. All right, you can just chill there for the time being. So we finally got our border expansion at Jameson Town. So now we have the fish. There we go. They can grow right back onto that tile next turn. Uh, next thing this worker needs to do, obviously it should finish the cottage, which I think is finishing this turn. Nice. Uh, so just so that that cottage is being worked by someone, we'll assign it here this turn. Um, but the next thing I need to do is, is um, mine this, because that's the next best tile here. Uh, Dune Potato will have... I do think I want to farm one of these three, just to get it up to plus six food surplus. But we'll go from there. All right. Oh, hey, there's another... Jeez, Portugal is just going to be so large in this game. They, they like their, their territory is just so much bigger than anyone else's. Look how much land they were given. If I'd had this spot, I could have run away with the game. But I was not given that spot. I was given this little teeny spot here and having to stuff settlers into little nooks and crannies everywhere else. For that matter, there could be more um, stuff elsewhere on the map, too. So let's, we're gonna, wait, I thought I had two sources of gems. I do have two sources of gems, okay. This just hasn't updated yet. So let's gift him these. And then Freddy. We'll gift him the copper. And then we have the supplied us with resources. Um, uh, bonus with both of them. So I really want to windmill these tiles, but in the meantime, I will go ahead and mine them. Um, although, wait, we have all our Gallic Warriors here, so we can commit to this attack now. So we have four Gallic Warriors. There's two archers. The initial odds are going to be terrible, but we should probably lose one and then win one. Plus, there is always the chance that we can... Um, there's always the chance to win. Oh, you know what? I also should have these Warriors ready to go, too. That was a mistake by me. Never know when you need just one more attacker to mop up. We'll wait We'll wait the one extra turn then so the warriors can join in. It might seem silly, but um, having a warrior to clean up an archer that's on one hit does matter. Toku did also, that's true, Toku also stopped settling land. That is true. Because the AI doesn't um, settle cities when it's at war, at least not normally. Oops, I already... Wait, what the? What was that command I just gave? I don't know what it was, but... Alright, so you I don't need anymore, this scout. Um, I don't know, you can hang out here for the time being. Uh, what's the name for our garbage city here, by the way? The one that's only being founded to try and get rid of this spot. And yes, I'm aware I scrolled out just to get rid of the X. You guys can deal with it. <laughs> I'll wait and let chat um, make a suggestion here. So we'll definitely want to get religion down here. There's a chance it'll spread on its own. Garbage city. <laughs> I'll go with that. The real poverty point. Actually, no, this needs a lighthouse over the granary because it needs water tiles for food. Oh, the dump. That's even better. That's even better. The dump. <laughs> Hopefully long term, we'll be able to flip, um, we'll be able to get a flip there. So this warrior is going to scout out the city that was captured. Yeah, you guys just chill there for this turn, and then we'll, um, hopefully we'll capture that barb city. So think about a barb city, a, a name for that barb city. All right, so worker, I swap those cities to workers to be whipped. So yeah, we've got a bunch of worker whips coming in next turn. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm not gonna touch that. <laughs> no. You're the pariah 
on this continent. I'm not giving into anything you said. All right. So now it's time to research it. Oh, nice. Christianity spread. But of course it spread in this city. Ah! Oh, well. I was like the one place I wouldn't want it to spread. Oh, well. Hey, thanks for uh, subscribing, by the way. If that's what actually happened. <laughs> I don't know if that was just cut and pasted in the chat or what. Um, but now we're up to 21. So Dune close. Yeah. It's all right. We just need to get religion down here. So we'll get some missionaries. Um, one city that'll be really good at building missionaries is this. Coppola is fine. Like this city has excellent production. It can four turn um, missionaries. So we'll get some missionaries down here. We'll build the, uh, we'll build the temples and the monasteries. And uh, with temples, monasteries, we should have really good odds of flipping this city because it's three tiles away. Oh, wait, one. Yeah, it's three tiles away from Dune Potato and the dump. But um, our free border pops with, um, uh, whatchamacallit, our free border pops with Stonehenge are not going to be enough here. Yeah, I figured that was just text cut and pasted, but uh, I was trying to give the benefit of the doubt, which maybe was not deserved there, but I was trying to, trying to hope for it. All right, so move here. Uh, I think this is better because this gets us the granary faster. Uh, this is likely, um, likely what happens here is we build the granary and then we either chop or whip out the lighthouse and go from there. All right. Oh, there's only, well, never mind. I was going to say there's only one defender left, but it looks like Freddy, there's another barb archer over here. Okay. I don't know what's going on with that barb archer. Um, so we've got, we actually have six units that, that can attack, although two of them are warriors. Let's use units that have no XP first. Well, none of them have any XP. All right, so this is likely the first two Galax died, but then hopefully the other two Galax clean up afterwards. All right, that is not unexpected. So down to 1.9, that looks like two hits. Two hits it is. So same event. All right. Wait, what? Did we get a flawless win? <laughs> we got a flawless win at 27% odds? What? Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, wow. Okay. So we have all, we have a, a slightly less than 50-50 odds to win each round. We have uh, technically 19 out of 39% odds to win each round. Let, let's just see what the odds of that flawless... So it's 19 out of 39 are the odds. That's 48.7%. So 0.487 times 0.487 times 0.487 times 0.487 times 0.487 times 0.487. Uh, it's about 1% odds for that to happen. It's about 1% odds to get a flawless win. At... <laughs> Alrighty, well, that works for me. And now we can clean up at 93. Now we'll probably lose the 93 after winning flawlessly. All right, did not happen. Oh, and there's a food bonus down here. Yay! Nice. So now this city becomes useful because it's got a, a race tile. And this is another place where we're going to have to build just a gazillion windmills. Uh, it even came with a granary too. Nice. Good job, barbarians. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll queue this. I'll queue up the library for lack of better options right now. <laughs> All right. So the workers. So we can move defender back in a, a warrior token defender back in here. We need a name for the barb city too, by the way, because we're not going to go with Marian. Uh, let's see. Three turns. Let's build the mine first, and then we'll improve this, because we can't actually farm it until it comes out of resistance. Rice supplies, wild rice. Um, it did. It needs to get the gem tile back. Thank you. You're absolutely right that it needs that tile back. You, so yeah, like the city, this is going to be a really good city with windmills. It just, it needs the windmills to not be food starved. I like Wild Rice too because it was a former Barb City. There is still a Barbarian down here too, that random Barb Archer, Wild Rice. But we should be able to clean that up without too much trouble. Alright, we'll move you down here. 
this random archer that split out. So this city cannot be attacked. This like these two cities are very neatly tucked in here. Look at how the let's see if I can go to the natural map here for a second. That's control B, by the way. If you ever want to like turn off the cities, it's control B. So like this ridge line, look at this. There's this line of peaks here. And then this blocks Greece from coming over here. And then this again blocks Greece. So the only entry point is this like little narrow area over here. And that's the only reason I'm sure that the Barb cities lasted this long. So um, yes, yeah, so we managed to get these two cities tucked away in here. And then also these cities down here. Plus there could be more islands out in the water. We don't know. We're not very close to um, optics or anything, but maybe someday we'll discover that. No, next next tech I've said is Code of Laws, uh, because courthouses are good, number one, and because I want to make use of caste system, which I definitely can. I can toss up um, artist specialists, and uh, I don't need to be in slavery 100% of the time. I can be flipping back and forth. This city might be able to... Um, oh, and by the way, i got to whip that worker. forgot that I need to do that. Uh, whip the worker here, whip the worker here. I had three different worker whips I had queued up. And then uh, we'll get the overflow from all of those. Don't forget, the capital has been really contributing nothing for a while. It's just been working on the Apostolic Palace. And that's going to help us. We're going to get another great profit, by the way. Because we'll be... Uh, I might use that for another shrine. And just make sure that the religion only spreads in my territory. I might. Because I don't need to use it for like a one-person golden age to switch civics. Because I've got... Um, I'm spiritual, so I don't have to worry about anarchy. All right. This city looks good. <laughs> Boy, uh, sure wish I had more food here. Calendar is not a priority for this game because I have plenty of happiness. Like, I would be able to connect some of these resources. I have silks, I have incense, but it's a low priority because I'm I'm good on happiness. All right, I think that's, I think that's good for right now. All right, you are going to overflow and finish that temple and then probably do the monastery as well because we want the production bonus. Uh, I do want you to work that, that tile, though. All right, temple done here. Let's have you do the monastery again. We will not be pushing for an early scientific method in this game, believe me. I'm trying to get that apostolic palace bonus ready. All right, now you uh, are probably going to be needed... Hmm... I could use another... I wanted to improve some more tiles back here in the core. Like, Piggyback could use some more here. Although, again, I, I do feel like I need Windmills. Windmills are going to have to be a high priority. They really will benefit a lot of cities, but that's an expensive path to get there. Metal casting and machinery. Like, neither one of these are cheap tax. And music would also be nice for at some point, too. A lot of, a lot of competing priorities here. Currency first, though. Currency first. I'm trying to see where I can do the most good with this worker. These cities don't have enough food right now to be able to grow a lot, but the capital could probably use some... Hmm. Actually, maybe down in the south? Like, I'd really like to build a... Um, windmill on that tile no let's uh let's get some of these hill tiles we can mine them we can always come back and windmill over them down the road but yeah why don't you go ahead and mine that first hey speaker welcome hope everything's going well let's ferry these guys over to the island so i have some actual defenders toku could have whipped uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think he lost a city because I think we would have seen it in the in the log, but maybe he did. It's possible. Let's look at the power graphs or bar, bar lines. Uh, he does seem to be losing right now to Alex, who's tops in power. But with any luck, we'll we'll pass both of them soon. We've been playing a lot of Civ Six. Interesting. How are you liking Civ Six? Uh, we already have the monastery and temple here, so I um, actually want to get missionaries out for the island cities. Yeah, we're, we're pleased with everyone on the continent except Tokugawa. We're pleased with 
J-Man, we're pleased with Augustus, pleased with Alex, pleased with Freddy. The score graph? Well, I was looking at that. Um, maybe. This could also be a whip, though. Like, that might not be... Because, like, this was a city being lost. Anyway, I'm going to try... I've got this warrior coming over here to try and explore. I can't explore in Japanese territory, though. Alright, so we finished that. This poor city, which desperately needs windmills. Which have not been unlocked technologically yet. Alright. Alright. Trying to finish off this bar of archer here. Let's just heal you. Alright, finish that road. You are going to come down to the island. That's where you guys are needed. This worker is needed there for sure. And same thing here. This is, I, uh, this person's needed on the island. So, I mean, this city is not outputting bad culture at all. It's at plus 10 per turn. I'm worried, though, that it's only 66% uh, Celtic, though. Like, this tile is going to be lost soon. Thanks to stupid Antium building all this stuff. But we'll get the Christian temple done. We'll get the Jewish temple done. I mean, that's about the best I can do right now. I can always run artist specialist to help out a little bit. Although the city is weak on food and it's going to be horrendous on food once this tile gets lost. So, I don't know. Just needs to hold out. Maybe eventually we can put Hermitage in there or something. But yeah, this, this worker needs to come down to the, uh, the island. That's where the... This is where I have the most need for worker help right now. Uh, maybe let's put a warrior and a Gallic in each of these cities, just for safety's sake. At least currency is going to help a lot, because our break-even right now is... We're actually losing money at 20% research right now. That's That means we probably need to stop putting settlers down if we're losing money at 20% research. But these cities aren't contributing anything yet. They will be contributors. Like, Wild Rice isn't contributing anything yet. Lapland is only just starting to be a contributor. So, like, we've gotten a lot of cities that aren't doing a whole lot just yet. All right, why don't you work on a missionary, I guess, for the time being? Oh, I might cancel this for... Actually, I might cancel this for a... Um, uh, a marketplace. This city looks like garbage, but it's about to double in production. It's at 6 base. It's about to go to 10 base, because it's going to get the temple and monastery bonus from Apostolic Palace. Uh, yeah, we'll do the missionary. I do need to get missionaries. I want to convert these cities, and then I want to continue trying to push them into um, Alex's territory. Wow, a lot of great profits being born elsewhere. Uh, I want to continue pushing them into Alex's territory and um, J-Man's territory. I wasn't working the gold or silver mines. I thought I was. Where's the gold tile again? I thought I was working the gold tile. Yeah, pretty sure I'm working both. Uh, anyway, so you built a missionary. I probably want you to build a market next. But you can get me another missionary first, because it's not very expensive. I mean, missionaries do help the economy as well, because remember, they do contribute here. 21 cities already is nice. All right, Apostolic Palace finishes next turn. If I'd known I was eight production short, I might have been able to squeeze that out elsewhere. All right, so let's drop some of these tiles again. Would be handy to have um, um, some windmills here. <laughs> but we're going to finish this regardless next turn. All right. So the first city I want to convert is probably Dune Potato, followed by the dump. We have just the one galley down here to ferry units back and forth. So I'll load up the warrior, uh, the worker next turn. Can the missionary get on board? Where is the missionary? One, wait, one, two, three. No, 
So load up the missionary and uh, probably one Gallic warrior next turn. Anyway, so these workers are in position to start improving the. Well, by the way, where did that? Where's this barb archer going? Just out of curiosity. Alrighty, so these guys connected these two tiles. Uh, now we chop the granary using this forest, and then uh, the whip will complete the lighthouse, and that's pretty much. It's kind of it as far as initial worker improvement goes. There's not a lot else to be done at that city. <laughs> So I'm trying to figure out where that city was captured, by the way. I think it was over here. Let's see, hopefully we will finish currency. All right, looks like we do have just enough to finish currency. So our total commerce, right, where's total commerce? We're, I guess it doesn't show that on the on the screen. So we're at, um, we're at 147.51. So it looks like our commerce is around 200. Let's see what this goes to next turn. 147.51. Everything is worth what its purchaser will pay for it. We actually have double prereq bonuses for Code of Laws. Oh, we finished a wonder too. This is a big turn for us. A wonder I almost never build, Apostolic Palace. Would have been hard to build this in some of my other games because I literally disabled it as an option <laughs> for AI Survivor. But there you go. There's the there's the picture of St. Peter's in uh, Rome. The silly thing is the game doesn't even mention that you get the plus two production for buildings of your state religion on here. All right, so we definitely want a marketplace in Animal Farm. So there you go. There's the plus two production. Plus two production now from... Um, Christian buildings, and that does include the shrine, so uh, the market is a definite pickup here. So that's the reason why we're doing the monastery and uh, temple and like all the cities. No, we're not. So obviously I'm going to vote for myself, but I'm not trying to win an AP diplomatic victory. I said I'd like to win an actual diplomatic victory. All right, so we were at, weren't we at one, what were we at before? Weren't we at like 151 or something? I think we were at 151 and I think we went up to 175. Let's see what our break even is. So remember before we were break even at 20%, now we're at like break even at 30%, which is still not good, don't get me wrong. But get some markets out. Oh no, Buddhism is fun. No, not Buddhism in Dune Potato. Well, we'll have to get the proper religion in there shortly. Also, someone built the Hindu shrine, but that is a religion we still have no contact with at all. 147 and 51, thank you. 147 and 51. So let's go back to the 80% we were at. So from 147 to 175, yeah, that's a pretty big increase for just finishing uh, a tech and not actually like doing anything. Okay, well, we'll get our missionary down there soon enough. Uh, worker first. And since our missionary can't get into the boat this turn. We'll load up one of these units. They can unload next turn and we'll bring that unit in. All right, so cancel that road order. Wild rice, this is gonna be a sad city until we can chop down all this jungle. Oh, you know what? We should also explore what's one tile to the right, see if there's anything over there. Probably not, but we might as well defog it. Chop. Chop, and then you guys can move back in the core and help out. All right, another worker. So next turn we can get a worker and a missionary and load them up. Maybe let's put something more than a warrior on defense in Coppola's Vine. Again, I don't expect to get attacked because my diplomatic relations are good. Also, where are you going? <laughs> Go into the other Barb cities or something, I guess. Now, there is a road here, so let's be careful about this. Why have you not captured this city, Khoisan, yet? 
All right, let me just take a look at these cities. Animal Farm's back to growing again, now that it's not working on the wonder. Silver Haggis is going to grow. Lapland is... We'll chop out that granary with the organized religion bonus. Poor Valley of Kells is we'll finish its library. And it needs it needs the true religion as well. I guess I'll put it on a marketplace for lack of other options. Um, I, I, I'm not as keen to build the Jewish temple and monastery because they are not my state religion. Maybe I can two pop. Actually, you know what? I'll two pop with a worker out of here. Because it's we're going to be growing onto bad tiles. Yeah, we can put it on a worker, two pop with that, and then regrow and put the overflow into the market. That's probably the best way to make use of that. And then that gives us another worker. I said I wanted three, I wanted four over here, two groups of two. That'll get me four workers on this island. Okay. All right, so as just detailed. So wait, what? Wait, how did Freddy win the election? <laughs> what? <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. I was like, wait, what? Frederick? <laughs> how did that happen? <laughs> Alex was the only one who voted for me. J-Man and, uh, and Augustus voted for Freddy. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's hope he doesn't do anything too stupid. <laughs> Look at the relations here. So how Augustus, well, Augustus is friendly with him, whereas he's only pleased with me. What is the big difference there? Years of resources, open borders. I don't have the resources um, agreement yet. J-Man was tied with between me and him, but he decided to vote for, he decided to vote for him anyway, Freddy anyway. At least I had plus one with, uh, with Alex. Say goodbye to Bay Victus. I wouldn't say that. It's not going to assign it away. I sure hope not. <laughs> You're starting to see why I normally turn off the um <laughs> starting to see why I normally turn off this victory, why I turn off the Apostolic Palace. Oh boy, I really did think I would win that election. <laughs> I did not think that I would lose that election. I mean, it's still predominantly my religion, so. And I am getting pretty close to the uh, 500 culture, which will give me more culture local, domestically. Need to get more cities converted. Well, my cities pretty much all have uh, the religion. I guess some of them don't. Well, I do need to improve that. I guess that's true. And Freddy does have some very large cities. That is true, he does have some large cities. My cities don't have enough food to grow to larger sizes. That is really one of the things that's been killing me in this game. Not enough food to grow the cities to larger sizes. Well, we're working on it. Hopefully he won't be able to do too much damage by controlling the AP for this. Yeah, I do have a lot of smaller cities. Like, these cities are all brand new. These can grow up to larger sizes. Like Valley of Kell, Wild Rice, they can't really grow larger until I can get to machinery. Maybe we do prioritize that next. Um, maybe we do prioritize windmills next because I kind of need them pretty badly. If I go into the Civilopedia, I just want to look at the windmills for a second. Improvements, windmills. Here we go. So initially they're just plus one food, plus one commerce. That's still not that bad though. Yeah, that's still not that bad on this map. And then with replaceable parts, they get the extra production. Environmentalism, we're probably not going to swap into in this game, but you never know. And electricity is really, really far away. Uh, no, I wanted the missionary. And I think there's a worker that can reach that boat this turn. Yep. We'll get the military units thereafter. While I'm thinking about it... Oh, I don't have enough to... I can whip the worker next turn, not this turn. Yeah, you, you guys just chill here for the time being. Windmills next, probably the way to go. So yeah, there's a 
So J-Man's going to get another city here. Jeez. Probably going to take it next turn. Is that war still ongoing, by the way? I believe it is. Yeah, still ongoing. <laughs> I guess that Barb Archer is just still trying to... It's probably moving to the other Barb cities. Or trying to get there, anyway. Uh, let's see, how much do I need to research Code of Laws? Not a lot. I only need about 200 gold. So that's maybe three or four turns here. Anyway, some of these cities now have way more production thanks to getting these uh, Apostolic Palace bonus. It certainly would be nice to get Sangkor. Uh, especially because we have stone and could build it pretty quickly. So, yeah, next up, we might want to get Monarchy just because it's very cheap with the double prerequisites. And then maybe we push for Machinery. Like, Monarchy is even cheaper than Code of Laws, which you can see is not an expensive tech. Hereditary Rule is nice, and um, also it would be nice to put Wineries on these two tiles. Then they'd be worth working. Whereas they kind of aren't worth working. As zero food tiles are not worth working. <clears throat> Alright. So yeah, I have... Yeah, I've got... Um, I'll have missionaries ready to convert Dune Potato and the Dump and Jameson Town. Um, this city, Coppola's Vine, is probably going to just pump out missionaries for the time being. Although I think I'm about to hit my limit this turn, so I'll have to build something else. Yeah, I think that this is the three missionary limit. So why don't you work on a market in the meantime? So Toku got his shrine. That's not great because it'll make it easier for his religion to spread. All right, not surprisingly that happened. Judaism spread in Essen, where's that? The German city, I guess. Okay, that's right by where the shrine is. That's or not trying right for where the holy city is. That's not a big deal. All right, I'll take the ninety-three percent odds. Finally killed that archer. Okay. So you head over to here, worker, you can join up with this guy here. All right, there we go. Granary almost done. I wasn't really paying attention to Doom Potato. Well, it's been working perfectly fine, Tiles. Uh, I do want to get roads, but I'm actually going to prioritize moving for uh, just improving Tiles first, although I won't throw away that turn. So I'm going to farm this tile and then cottage these two. Right, so these units hop off the boat. And then we'll come back for the next. I'm just going to keep the units in Berlin. By the way, look at all these Tareems in the area. I'll just keep all my uh, units in that city. So Laplin, this will finish the granary. And then it just needs a light, it just needs a lighthouse which will probably get whipped. And then the city just works water tiles. It's never really going to get past size 10 or so, but that's okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So yeah, it can get to about size 10 or 11. That's probably okay. At least it contributes something. All right, you whip out that last worker. Overflow probably into the market. Yeah, you'll regrow instantly, and it's not like you have other good tiles to work or something. Um, you guys, I think, have stuff you can do over down here in the core. I don't think there's any more tiles to improve at Lapland. <laughs> Anyways, we'll just come back here. I don't think barbs can spawn in there. So, you can see I am climbing up the scoreboard. I am not matching J-Man right now because he has so many cities. He is going to be the problem in this game. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. He has 16 cities. 
16, and they're high quality. They're definitely higher quality cities than what I have. I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I have twelve, but he has four more than me. And unlike my cities, which are a lot of a lot of tundra locations, a lot of spaces with hill and tundra and desert, he seems to have green green territory pretty much everywhere. So he will be the issue in this game. Um, dealing with him is going to be a problem. But um, I've managed to outrace. I managed to um, outdo everyone else so far. This city I can't really whip. It just does, doesn't have enough food to like whip stuff. It would take. It takes too long to grow back. I guess I could farm another tile here and put chops into the market or something. I guess that's better than nothing. I could farm this tile. I shouldn't have farmed this tile. I should have farmed this silk tile. At least it would be worth two uh, two commerce instead of one. Oh well. Courthouses will definitely help. Oh, cool, the lighthouse is only seven turns. Nice. Oh, Judaism stopped spreading. Well, that is right next to the next to Valley of Kells, to be fair. Honestly, I'm... Hmm, I was going to say I might put this guy in Jameson Town just so I can... Get another missionary. Actually, yeah, let's do this because then I get the organized religion bonus on my. Um, well, we want we'll, we want that for this turn. This way, I'll get the organized religion bonus on my uh, upcoming lighthouse whip. Even though I kind of want the bonus down here more. Uh, all right, so where do I need to go? You are going to come down here and farm this tile. You. I can move here and road, and then cancel that. What's the next thing to do? Maybe road down here so I stop wasting all these turns, uh, moving from tile to tile. Actually, what would be even better, let's move here and we'll chop into the dump, and uh, that'll help us get that lighthouse done faster. And then I can cottage this tile, so it has some kind of tile to work. Uh, yeah, with the chop, it'll actually finish the lighthouse, and then it'll have some tiles that it can work on. Then we still need to get the granary, but we'll muster up something with that. Because the borders will pop right when that chop finishes. All right. Let's hold these guys off. Uh, let's see. So down here, yeah, there's some work I can do here. Piggyback finished that mine. Good. Piggyback is generally emphasizing growth, which is what I want. And it's just about ready to whip something. This will probably whip uh, the market. And it looks like the whip cycle is about to run out in a lot of these cities. Or like the happiness is about to reset. That looks good. We just whipped Valley of Kells. It's working the only improved tile that it has. Wild Rice just finished its rice, so we now have an excess rice that we could trade for somebody. Only plus five with him. Yet he loves Freddy, inexplicably. Oh, he's got the civics, shared civics. Okay. That's another reason to go for hereditary rule, is it'll improve relations with uh, Freddy. Alex wants us to be in vassalage. Well. Um, so Coppola's fine. Could whip something, but it's probably better not whipping here, because I've got 15 base production, which is quite good. Moai City is not as likely to be whipped. Um, I'll work on the market, but then I do want to go back to more missionaries. I just can't build them right now, because I'm at the missionary limit. I want to get these three cities converted quickly. Jameson, to, just to speed along their development, and then I need to get these cities improved. Or get these three cities converted as well. Once my cities are converted, I can look at spreading it to further afield. Like I said, it is worth a fair bit of money. Um, uh, here's where Alex is. Oh, he must be sieging up a city over there. 
or something. We can come back here. And I think, do I have enough now to turn on researching Code of Laws? Uh, let's go one more turn to 0% science. Um, but one other thing we can do is we can chop this tile, chop this forest. Or no, we should we should do this tile because this tile um, is riverside. Improve the riverside tiles over the non ones. We already have the granary, so it's not like there's an urgent need um, to get a chop for like a granary. All right, you can just road that while you're there for mobility. The uh, market in the capital will definitely help. That's, what are we up to? 21, so that's another five gold per turn. And at this point we get 25% more of that. So that's like 12 gold per turn. It's like almost another tick on the slider. So uh, we're coming along as far as research goes. If you wanna look at the, let's look at the demos here real quick. So we're at 0% science right now. Uh, we're second in food. That's good, but this is J-Man, and he's at 228. That's bad. Uh, that's pretty bad. Could be a problem long term. That could be an issue. But we're actually second in land area, but again, we're second behind Portugal. And production, we're right there running neck and neck, even though we're not working a lot of mines. Uh, let's see what we would be at break even on our GNP. Uh, 194. So still not quite there yet, but that'll improve with time. All right, so we need the lighthouse next. Should be able to, uh, well, I was gonna say work this tile, but it's better to work the production tile for the time being at least. All right, there we go. <laughs> Knocks a turn off that thanks to the organized religion bonus. All right, him completing mausoleum is not great either. <laughs> and getting a great scientist. Sadly, this was not a free spread. This was the missionary. All righty. So missionary on board, and we have a worker who can't White make it this turn, so he'll have to hop on board next turn. <laughs> Shuttle service here. How's our worker situation? Worker's uh, situation is more or less where it should be. It's about where it should be right now. I'm not feeling, I'm feeling like I'm running right about at what I need. How likely is it for Alex to invade Portugal? Uh, let's see. Let's see who Alex likes. I mean, Alex is nowhere close to being done with. Uh, it's possible. He's only cautious. He's probably more likely would be, he would probably be more likely to attack Freddy though, because Freddy is a lot weaker, but he could, it's not impossible. Still, he's nowhere, he's not even close to being done with uh, Tokugawa. So, uh, hold on, I was trying to see their power relationship. And it looks like he just had an attack that didn't go that well, so. I'm not too worried about that right now. I can't even find the city that he, he captured. He may have lost the city that he captured back to uh, Toku again at some point. All right, now we'll turn on research for Code of Laws. So this will look like I have a giant GNP because it's a tech with double prerequisite bonuses. So it looks great. Yay, I'm number one. Uh, but it's not quite as good as it might sound. Because as I said, I have double prerequisite bonuses, so it's an inflated amount. All right, so the capital just grew. For the time being, I would like it to emphasize growth over finishing the market faster. So these ocean tiles are pretty weak, but we'll still grab them. And we're gonna get a great, gonna get another great profit here. I think, I think I probably use it for a shrine at Valley of Kells. And then spread that. I mean, and then spread that in my territory. I have to be careful though, because I don't actually want like Alex to convert to Judaism. I want him to stay, but it won't hurt to pick up a little bit of extra income. All right, this city is about to finish the Jewish temple. It's definitely helping. The um, benefit here is really helping 
because the base production is only four, and then that gets doubled, thanks to the two buildings I finished. Yeah, this city's not about to flip anytime soon. Animal Farm, oh, is it at the Happy Cap? Oh yeah, it is. Well, that's fine, because it's going to finish the market. And, oh wait, no, I actually don't get any bonus happiness from the market. Uh, okay, well... Oh, you know what? We have to connect furs. We have furs, we just need to connect them. The furs are plus two happiness. Well, I just moved these workers down here, but um, this guy just finished, and I can have this worker come join. I just have to road and then improve that tile. So that'll give us plus two happiness. Good point. Thanks for bringing that up. And then I've got one missionary here, and then another one following up. Yeah, I just finished ones here at Couple is fine. Freddy just went vassalage, interesting. Not a common civic for him to jump into. Alright. So I think I'll let the I think I'll hold on. I have missionaries for these two cities, don't I? Uh no, let's we'll hold off on the market because I want to get these cities converted so they can start working on their temples and monasteries. So they need to get converted for that to happen. So Coppola's vine needs to produce missionaries for them. Oh yeah, I get to move twice. I don't know what Augustus is doing with units down there. Yeah, if there was a city captured here, I think it may have been recaptured. Uh, here, alright, so you can road over to that tile. You, I want to chop this. And you, we're going to help with that, but you have a more important job up here now. You can help get the first connected. So move back to there. You're just moving back to my territory. Hop on board. One, two, three. All right, that missionary can't get on board next turn, so I'll unload the other unit. All right, so we'll finish Code of Walls. And then we'll definitely want to get some uh, courthouses in some of the more far-flung cities. We are not organized, so they are expensive, but or something. All right, so the other thing is, do we want to go into um, cast system for a few turns? I'm just going to have to look around and see if I have any whips that are upcoming. In fact, I should probably try to queue that up here. Hmm, maybe this city really should get a light. You know what, this city's going to need a lighthouse because it's going to lose some of these tiles soon. It's going to need the food. Also, this probably should have been a farm and not a cottage, but now that it's almost mature, I don't want to... Yeah, it's one turn away from a town. I'm not going to drop that now but it probably should have been a farm because there's not enough food. I, I I was thinking that the reason why I didn't put a farm on this is I was thinking that I would get control of this tile. And then with these two, I would have plenty of food, but um, that just, I ne that did not materialize thanks to Antium getting all those wonders. All right, uh, looking around here for whips. I think I'll queue up whips for next turn and then, on, then I can revolt into cast system for a little bit on turn 152. Like I'll queue up some whips do them on turn 152 and then revolt afterwards. Like Jameson Town, I might want to whip for one pop. Then maybe not. I mean, it's not that far away from just maybe we just finish the lighthouse and then two pop whip something um, more useful. Like we could two pop whip the Christian monastery and overflow into the Christian temple. That would be nice. It's true. Once I get irrigation, it'll have an extra food. The problem is uh, I'm about to lose control of this tile. <laughs> They Victus will, uh, now Dune Bridget will get an extra food because this will be irrigated. But uh, unfortunately, we're about to lose this tile. I don't think the city itself is in much risk of flipping because now that we're up to, um, we're about to hit 12 culture per turn. We're going to go over the 500 culture mark shortly. So I don't think the city itself is in danger of flipping, but I think that corn resource is not long for this world. To bring about the rule of righteousness in the land so that the strong should not harm... All right, I said I wanted to get monarchy just for the hereditary rule and because it's cheap, and that'll build relations with J-Man. All right, so here we can whip either a courthouse or um, a market, which is going to be more helpful. Um, they're about the same cost. I guess the market is... the courthouse is slightly cheaper. 
Well, this will let me build Forbidden Palace, and this is a game where Forbidden Palace would really be nice, because I can put Forbidden Palace on that little island down there, and that would be a big help. And my wines, too, yes. So let's get some of these courthouses out first. How many do I need for Forbidden Palace? Also, um... You put a lot of units on the border there. He is still pleased with me, right? Yeah, he's pleased, so he can't declare war on me. Yeah, and he's not plotting war. Okay. Looks a little scary when someone moves these units up here and I have one warrior defending my city, but uh, he is not actually planning to attack me, despite what it might look like. Alright, and you can come head for this city, I think. Cancel that. I just want to. Alright, I wanted to make absolutely sure that this was going into the dump, which it is. So that'll finish the lighthouse. And then I can cottage that tile. Um, you should work this tile for one turn over the nothing tile. Alright. So this is the last uh, worker. That I'm ferrying down here. So two missionaries, one, one for each of these two cities. I think Dune Potato should get it first because Dune Potato is going to two-pop with this granary shortly. There we go. Yeah. So yeah, this city first. Hopefully we will succeed on the ninety percent dice roll, <laughs> and then we'll go from there. Got to cottage this tile next. Okay, and then the other one will hopefully convert the dump. At Fort Dortmund. Hopefully someday. Uh, both cities would have to get to 100 culture to start putting pressure on Dortmund. They'd probably both have to get to 500 to have a serious chance of flipping it. Wild race. Yeah, you just hang in there for the time being. A city that badly needs... Um, wow, I can almost research this in. So how many turns would this take at 100% research? Looks like I need about 160-ish money. But it's nice to see that I've pulled out ahead of all the AIs aside from uh, J-Man. And hey, I'm about to finish this market, so that's cool. 22 per turn. I'll go ahead and build the temple. Uh, I don't need a courthouse here, at least not immediately. So how many... I'm trying to remember how many... I'm not trying to take a screenshot. It's just Civilopedia and screenshot are the same key on uh, Steam. How many courthouses do I need for um, Forbidden Palace? Six total. Okay, well that's readily doable. We'll get two up there. Evictus is ready for a whip, so let's whip out the lighthouse. Or I could whip out the courthouse here. Yeah, it's probably worthwhile to do that. Well, I might need the lighthouse to keep the city from starving, so I guess we'll do the lighthouse first. Uh, Valley of Kells, you have very low commerce potential. I guess you have, well, hmm. Courthouse would sure be nice here. Uh, the market's halfway done, so I'll let the market stand for now. So yeah, we're going to whip a bunch of these cities next turn. Couple's Vineyard, you're fine. Dune Potato, you can wait until after we get out of cast system. Yeah, so we'll whip some of these, and then we'll pop into cast system for a few turns. Finally get a, finally get advantage of a... Uh, can finally start taking advantage of um, uh, being spiritual to do stuff. Alright, so now you can work this, at least until we get the cottage done. And you need a granary. We will probably chop into that granary, too. But for the time being, we'll cottage that tile. No. <laughs> oh well. We are going to have a Jewish shrine in time, so that won't be a total waste. And I'll just queue you up to walk there. Alright, you get over here and help with the cottage. I am enjoying the uh, way that we've colonized this island. One of those just fun things that happen to stumble across. All right, finish roading that. This guy's just 
exploring more of Portugal's territory. Yeah, this war is just not going anywhere as far as I can tell. All right, so that'll help with the, help get that market done faster. The uh, market in Animal Farm is nice. Now we're up to 63 gold at 0%. Again, pretty good considering that there's zero cottages in this city whatsoever. <laughs> 22 cities with Christianity. All right, cottage down. And we'll have this these furs connected pretty soon. All right, so we need to whip. All right, so three pop whip, but that's fine. We're just whipping off water tiles, which are not very valuable. Silver haggis, go ahead and do the same thing. We'll get some nice overflow from that. Do want you to keep whipping that working the silver tile. Put the overflow into probably a market. This will get some of our costs down. All right, whip, whip, whip here. We'll get a lot of overflow from this. Uh, I do want you working that cottage tile. Hate to pull off any of those. I've still got this barracks that's almost done. Uh, we'll probably put this into the courthouse, maybe. And I think that's it in terms of whips. This city is good. Yeah, that looks fine. I need to get these wines improved next. Uh, this worker, I need to farm this and then I need another worker, don't I? Maybe I can pull some of these workers up here because they're not really doing anything that important. Maybe they can go help with the wines because that's going to be, that's probably a three worker job. All right, let's go into cast system here. So that now allows us to assign specialists. So hey, Lapland, instead of working a garbage tile, why don't you work a scientist specialist instead? That feels like a more useful thing for you to be doing. Uh, same thing down here. I guess Wild Rice has two improved tiles, so it's all right. But like Valley of... Eh, this is fine, but I can assign a scientist as soon as that's done. Uh, the dump, I guess that's okay. Considering working an artist, but I don't think it's that necessary. City has no food bonuses. So like instead of working tiles that are really bad, we can assign a specialist instead. Because like Silver Haggis, instead of working, I don't know, this tile, I can just start assigning scientists or merchants when I hit, um, what's the word I'm looking for? When, uh, when the city has grown uh, like to the, to the cap. All right, so need four more courthouses. In the meantime, you can do the market. We also will need have to have to make sure we're. So the other reason why it's good to go machinery next is it also lets us get the forges, which will give us another thing to build in our cities. Because you don't want to be in a situation where you have nothing to build. That's never a good, uh, never good when you're in a peaceful game. All right. So that is not going to do anything immediately. You know what? Why don't you just finish that barracks? You have it queued up forever. You might as well just finish it. And then we'll put the overflow into probably a courthouse. All right, I think we can finish monarchy now. Yeah, we should be able to finish that. Actually, I'm going to have you come down here and start with the wines immediately. You can at least build a road for these workers to come up here. Okay, so missionary, yes. You come here to Valley of Kells and hopefully convert that city so it can get started on its own. Get started on its own uh, apostolic palace buildings. And even though I'd like to get a market, I'm gonna continue to emphasize missionaries. Well, I will as soon as this missionary does his job and converts to potato. All right, whew. got the 90% dice roll. If there's one, one religion present in a city, your odds are of a conversion are 90%. But there, that means there's a 10% chance to fail, which always is a pain in the butt when it happens. All right, so now that we've used up that missionary, you can build another one. Did I ever have a custom ringtone? I don't think so. Oh wait, never mind. There's already a missionary on board this ship. like this choral music in the background. 
Yeah, I don't think Alex... I think Alex captured a city from Toku, and then I think he lost it afterwards. Because it doesn't look like that border has changed at all, from what I can tell. Alright, so now we'll have the furs connected. I'll probably connect both of them while I'm up here so I have some trade bait. Alrighty, uh, let's see. So I'm just trying to see if there's any cities where... So like Valley of Kells, instead of working this tile, I'm just going to assign a scientist instead. Like, it's better to get the three beakers, I think, than it is to work this tile, which is really bad. I don't know. It's unimproved tile. Like, Wild Rice is working these. What I really want to get in these cities are the um, uh, Christian buildings, but I have to convert them first, and so that's why I've got a missionary coming out of this city. Oh, th hopefully this one will convert Valley of Kells, and then I'll just do the temple and the monastery real quick. And we're about to get another great person here in three turns. And then we'll uh, be set. I wonder almost if it's worthwhile to, is it worthwhile to build Anchor Watt in this game? Probably not. Like, cause that would power up my priest specialist. Probably not worth it though. Which is the tech that even unlocks that? I'm trying to remember where Anchor Watt is. That, that's Shwedagam Paya. Ah. I'll just look it up in the Civilpedia cause it's, Blanking, I'm blanking on it right now. Um, I'm sure someone will probably put it in the chat already. Philosophy, okay, thank you. That would explain why I didn't see. Yeah, there it is, philosophy. Probably not worth it, but maybe we'll see. I'm not, I'm not emphasizing the top of the tree very much right now. Oh, can I pop divine right and found Islam? Oh, I like that call. Oh, I like that call. Yeah. Yes, that would be better than the shrine because then I could build um, spiral minaret. That's a great suggestion. Well, let's see. I don't know if the lake bulb path is clear. I think it is though. Um, no, it's not available as a research yet. Um, what's oh, but it will be once I have monarchy finished, which is what I'm researching right now. Yeah, I think I think it might be available because that would make so much sense. And then I could build spiral minaret. And it's not like I won't get more um, great great profits down the road. I'm set up to continue getting more great profits. Yeah. All right. So the capital will do the courthouse here. And again, once these courthouses are done, um, the city that probably builds it is probably Jameson Town because it is the best production up here. Okay. Yeah, well, we'll be able to tell in a couple turns. I'm sure I could look it up. Uh, like, I'm sure I could look it up, but I, I'll just check. Uh, great profits are not the best for light bulbs, but this would also bury the last religion, so that would stop, like... Um, Actually, no one has even gotten the philosophy religion yet. Interesting. But, like, that would bury the last religion, so it wouldn't pop up in one of these other AIs. And it would give me... It would give me another religion for down the road, which would be funny. Could always go cultural um, if I wanted to, because I have so many of these religions to play around with. And uh, it would let me build Spiral Minaret, which would be really good for my setup. Because I'm building these temples anyway. I'd love to get the full trifecta of the, uh, the monk economy. out here cultural you're, you're not wrong it probably does make more sense but we'll see what the situation is um unfortunately j-man will be my would almost certainly be my opponent long term in the un and it's gonna be it would be hard to get yeah it would probably be hard to get um enough votes to outdo him because i would have to get everyone else to vote for me it's pretty clear that toku will not vote for me um so it would be it would be tough. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, Wild Rice. The AI even assigned a specialist here, but I'm gonna choose the scientist. Excuse me. Over the um, I'm gonna choose a scientist over whatever. Uh, let's build the road through here. These guys are going up to connect wines, but I think it makes more sense to build this road while I'm here. All right, let's get that camp built. 
Did we finish the cottage here? Yes, we did. So let's start on that. All right, uh, let's see. So we got this cottage done down here. Now this city does want to double whip its, um, does want to double whip its granary. So we are going to have to flip back into slavery in the near future here. Boy, this city sure needs a courthouse, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> but Jameson Town is going to finish the lighthouse. And uh, from there, I think we'll do have it do a courthouse, probably whipped. And at that point, we should be getting close to Forbidden Palace, which is not an expensive national wonder. This would really help with the maintenance down here. For once, that'll be useful. Uh, so next up, we want to turn this into a cottage, I think. Yeah, maybe I should have done granary before lighthouse. Because I do have some land tiles to work here. Well, we'll figure it out. Could also chop these, although I don't mind having these for production. Well, I could always workshop them. No, but then they'd have no food, and this city's already low on food. Unfortunately, I can't even farm them, as there's no way to irrigate up here. Too blocked off by desert. Well, we'll improve this tile first, then. All right. So we've got the immediate tiles improved for this city. Uh, I guess the next thing we do is mine this hill tile. See, unlike Freddy, I would have brought a work boat for this spot. Dune Potato isn't as bad as you want. No, Dune Potato is a good city. It's got floodplains tiles, that's all you need. The dump is a poor, poor city. Uh, a very poor city, but. So how many more turns until I can flip back three more turns? We'll probably flip back into slavery in, in those three turns. All right. That looks good there. That looks good there. Oh, uh, no, actually it doesn't. I want you to emphasize food. Actually, I should probably do the same thing here. Just turn and emphasize food on for the governor. Uh, let's have you emphasize the higher food here. So you're at plus three food per turn. Dune Bridge has almost limped its way to its marketplace. So this city's just not that good. I would like to build a farm on this tile, but I think getting the wines connected takes precedence because this city's about at its happiness limit. Like I have tiles for it to grab, but I want it to grow onto those wines. Higher priority as it continues to pump out missionaries. A multitude of rulers is not a good thing. Let there be one ruler, one king. All right, now let's go for machinery. Metal casting machinery next. And then we'll finally have windmills that can help some of these poor cities. <laughs> but uh, note that the economy is improving. All right, now that we have the lighthouse, we don't want the scientists. Now we do want to just grow onto these tiles. And now you can produce your temple and that'll give you enough production to give you a lot more production from base production of five up to eight, up to seven and then this will get us up to nine and nine base production is enough to actually build stuff at a decent rate okay so i said courthouse here next actually no do the temple and the monastery they'll pay for themselves very quickly yeah they'll pay for themselves very fast So Dune Potato, I would um, whip this turn, but I can just wait a couple more turns and then whip when the food box is half full, and that's not bad. I can't go into Hereditary Rule because I have to wait two more turns. I'll do that as soon as I can, though. I can flip Hereditary Rule and Slavery on the same turn. In the meantime, Dune Potato will just have to work the improved tiles that it has. All right, cross your fingers. Yay, we got the dice roll. Nice, I'm glad you had a good FTL game, Colors. And that is a nice score. Uh, the city, where's those? Oh, here, yes. I was like, why am I clicking on the city again? Oh, yes, because I wanted to build the temple instead. This city I can also whip, too. Um, I will probably, let's see, two turns until I can whip, so next turn I should flip into the, next turn I'll flip to the monastery, whip the monastery for two pop, overflow to the temple, finish the temple, go back to the market. <laughs> so here I'm just like updating my knowledge of Portuguese territory. Oh, there's a Roman city over there? Ooh, Rome spread out. Rome got this corner of the map. 
Hmm. So note that the inevitable did finally happen. Vavicus did lose this tile, sadly. So it's now uh, kind of a crippled city with no food bonuses. <laughs> that was expected. But as I said, I think that once it rolls over the 500 culture mark, I think it will be okay to hold its own tile, its own center tile, hopefully. Well, hey there, war elephants. Where are you guys going? All right, so now these guys will skedaddle up here and help with uh, connecting these wines. So now how much do we need to finish metal casting? All right. This is a more expensive tech, and we don't get double prereq bonuses on it. At break even, it looks like it's... Uh, wait, it's only five turns at break even? Huh, okay. Well, I guess that's not that bad. Thought it was actually going to be worse than that. I was like, wait, why does it take five turns to grow? And I was like, wait, because the... Uh, I don't think the granary has filled up the food box yet. Oh no, we're only plus three production for... Hmm. Is it worthwhile to drop this tile to get up to plus four food per turn? Um, let's build the temple and the monastery first, then I'll probably drop this to grow faster. I guess it does have slow growth there. I should get control of this tile eventually because it's second ring for me and it's uh, third ring for him. Yeah, I should get control of this tile. I won't ever get control of this tile because it's uh, Circe and Neopolis both put cultural pressure on that. Uh, this copper might be lost eventually too because there's two cities pushing on it. I have to make sure I get a lot of culture in this city. Good thing I can do the temple, monas temple plus monastery plus um, library combo relatively quickly here. And it's not like this city is going to be able to build anything because it has no food and no hill tiles. All right. So you are going to go to this city. All right. Let's look into this. What would the light bulb do? All right. It is for divine right. 1134. So do we want to make the play to go for divine right next? Uh, I think it would be fun to do that. Let's put you to sleep for right now. So 1134, so we need about 700 beakers into that tech. That's more expensive than metal casting. Hmm. Well, we'll save gold for a turn or two first. But you know what? Spiral Minaret would help an enormous amount. And I also just like the idea of getting all of the... Because, like, we would get plus two gold for every single building. Like, every single one of these. And we have a ton of these buildings. Let's see how many, just out of curiosity. So, we have six temples and six monasteries, and we're building more. Um, so, it's plus two gold for each of those. Well, that would be just 24 gold per turn right off the bat. Uh, outside of what the slider costs. Plus, we'll get another great profit down the road, won't we? Because it'll give us even more great profit points. Go for the Monk Trifecta. It's probably suboptimal to delay, but it will get us yet another religion, which would be fun to play around with. Um, I think we'll go for it. We'll put research on here. We're going to need to save for a couple turns. And you don't want to burn the great profit for the light bulb until you have to, because you get um, plus one beaker for every population point, and our pop will be growing over the next couple turns. It'll be continuing to go up, so we get more from waiting uh, until we're actually re until we actually need it. So maybe Alex was fighting down here. I don't know. All right, you guys are going to the lines. Should be able to get there one, two, three. Oh, can't quite get there next turn. You just finished. Actually, you do finish it a turn faster by working that tile. Uh, all right, so are all of our cities converted now? No. Well, Wild Rice is a missionary heading there. I will finish the market for right now, but uh, I will probably go back to missionaries after that and just have this city focus on... Um, heading out to convert more cities, I guess. Alex, and especially with uh, Portugal. It's a long distance, but... Um, 
Like we might as well might as well focus on getting some of Alex's cities first, just to make absolutely sure he doesn't flip into another religion. He does not have a lot of Christianity right now. Like, let's get Farsalus, Corinth, and Sparta converted at a minimum, and then he should be pretty safely in our religion. And then we can just try to hit, like, low-lying fruit, like some of these um, cities of Freddy that don't have religion yet. But I wanted to get some whips queued up, I remember. So let's try to do that. Um... This city was the one in particular I wanted. I wanted to do this. We'll two-pot whip this and then overflow and finish the temple. Uh, here at Dune Potato, we're just ready for the whip as soon as we get... Um, as soon as we're in slavery, which will be next turn. Uh, right now, it would... I have, actually, I think every single one of my cities has a religion, so at this point, I don't know. I don't know where it would pop up. Could be, it would default to cities that had more population, I guess. All right, well, let's do the flip of uh, civics while we can. So now we're in hereditary rule, like most of the other leaders. And since J-Man has that as his favorite civic, he's going to like us more. It will take some time to build up, but he will appreciate us for having wisely chosen our civics. Unfortunately, he's friendly with these two clowns. I guess it's, he has very similar peace weight with them. But, I mean, we're on good terms with, like, everybody. Except Tokugawa, but he's in, a, in another war. Yeah, I mean, we're pleased with everybody, but... Um, not quite at friendly. Alright, so we'll get that those wines connected. All right, we did get that finished. Uh, Dune Potato now. Oh wait, it was only a one pop whip? Ah, ah, that's disappointing. Well, it is what it is, but that is definitely disappointing. I put just slightly too much production into that. I should have been paying attention. I put too much production into the tile. I wanted that to be a two pop whip. Look at all those. Look at this, like every tile is, is a grassland tile in his territory. This territory is so rich compared to the rest of the map. No wonder he's by far the strongest AI and the biggest threat to win this game. So I'm trading away a lot of my extra luxuries. I don't know if I'm trading all of them. Let's look at where, what my trade deals are active. So you can see I'm trading everybody something except Toku because he won't accept that. Maybe this is where he captured the city down here. So, monastery, we overflow into the temple. Just trying to see if there's any other spot I need to whip yet. Now, these cities are still kind of recovering from the last whip. Uh, you have run out of improved tiles, so you'll on to scientists, I think, after this. But that's fine. Uh, poor Vevictus is just doing its thing. It's been holding at about 60% of my culture for the time being. Maybe we can try to put Versailles in there. No. <laughs> if we ever were to get a great artist... You know, if I if I could somehow get Sistine, that would be amazing, because then all my religious buildings would be worth double culture, but I don't think I'm going to get Sistine. Unfortunately, he's probably going to build Sistine. Probably. Still no one has Alphabet yet for tech trading. I don't know exactly where the AIs are on the tech tree, which would be nice if I knew that. Alright, so Courthouse... Oh, and I think we can start research on Divine right now, because we've got, actually made quite a bit of money. All right, we got the granary finished. Uh, next up, we want the lighthouse. We do need the lighthouse next. Then we'll get the temple and monastery. So this city will finish the temple. Um, then I will probably toop up with the... You don't need that tile. Let's get more food incoming. This is this James Jameson town is a really nice city, even without needing the um, 
without needing these tiles. This would be a great Moai city as well, but it was better to get Moai done sooner. Um, how many more of these do we need? All right, we still need a few more courthouses. I do want to whip something. I probably, wait, can I, could I even Tupac whip the monastery? Yeah. Yeah, I think the monastery is next, but I want to make sure it's a two-pop whip. So maybe I'll put the overflow into the courthouse and then like avoid having big overflow to stop that from being a two-pop whip. All right. So maybe this is where that city got captured. All right, the dump is now made it to size two. Is limping along at the granary at one production per turn. I probably have to burn a forest or else this, a forest and then a whip will get the granary done. Forest chop and a whip. I shouldn't say just a forest because that doesn't mean anything. Hey, we've had really good dice luck on these uh, spreads, by the way. All right, wild rice. So wild rice is going to, um, I'll let it grow for the time being, but then I'm going to flip to the monastery, two pop whip that, and then overflow into the temple. Because it's running rapidly out of... Oh, hey, there's actually a, a tile here we can improve. I missed that. There is... Actually, there's a couple tiles here. There's two of them that are riverside. We need to get cottages down here. Well, as soon as those wines are connected, that's where these workers will come down here and improve these. It's like actual tiles that are not hills. <laughs> it's remarkable. All right, so we'll run, burn this for two turns and then um, probably cash in that great profit. And then we'll start, um, then we'll have Animal Farm start um, uh, Spiral Minaret and we'll be very safe in securing that. All right, so we connected the furs now. Let's build this road connection and then we'll connect the other furs while we're up there. So one of you I want to road this tile and then the other one to help build the winery. And then everyone can hop right over to this tile because the road will finish right when this winery is done. If I just had everyone move here, then they'd all waste a turn moving onto that tile. All right, you're going to finish the market and then missionaries. And a number of these cities are not far off from being ready to whip. A couple more turns. They Victus city probably is not going to be doing much whipping anymore because it has no food anymore. We'll see though. So Valley of Kells finished its monastery and now it'll have its temple. And then its production will be pretty solid for, I mean, this is a good production city. It's just, it needs food. Um, you squeeze out a missionary while we're waiting on other stuff. When it, if there's nothing else to be built, get get me a missionary or two. There's always a place where we can send a missionary. All right, so let's see. I don't have much overflow there. All right, so we can do the monastery. We'll get us 15, and then next turn we can two pop with this. That'll get us 10 base production with plus six food per turn. So I finished that. Um, let's have you do this courthouse as well. Uh, also, let's check in on espionage points. Uh, we should probably just set everything back to weight zero now. And this will give us enough that we should be able to keep visibility in everybody's um, bar graphs, or whatever you want to call them. Toku has apparently been spending a lot on espionage. We can barely see his. Augustus has not spent very much. Uh, J-Man has not been spending much with us. Freddy and Alex has not spent much on us. Freddy has spent a fair amount on us. So Liz and I, I see people are discussing Disney Plus and The Mandalorian. Liz and I have not watched it yet. We only recently uh, bought Disney Plus or started paying for the service or whatever you want to call it. But um, we were thinking that we would like to sit down and start watching some of The Mandalorian soon. But uh, we haven't done so yet. 
All right, so work that cottage, and we're gonna chop this. Boy, Jameson Town's growing like a weed. This is a turning into a very good city. This city looks like it's not long, not long to be held by Alex. Look at Toku's stack. Of course, it's gonna be auto raised. And these cities don't have a lot of culture yet, but they will. Like once I get the, like I'm gonna get the monastery temple here as soon as the lighthouse is done. Oh yeah, we need to double whip the light. We'll need to double whip the lighthouse. This will stack up two whip durations, but that's fine. That's not that big a deal. Um, I just want it to grow until it's almost um, size, almost size five, and then I'll two pop whip the lighthouse. Then we'll work on getting the temple monastery pairing and shoving as much culture into this little city as possible. Because I think we, I really think we'll have good odds to flip this. Now the dump is a much slower developing city, but once we get the granary done, again, we do the monastery temple pairing and that's a lot of culture. And it's not like Dortmund is doing much of anything. Like is Freddy even in um, Slavery Civic? Just kind of curious what he's running. Okay, he is running Slavery, so he can whip stuff, but we'll see how good of a job he does at prioritizing culture. It's not going to be an early flip. We have to get, uh, let's see, we have to get up to 500 culture to put culture on this tile. But I think before the game's over, we'll be able to do that. All right, so. All right, so we now have 500 invested in here. So this is a good turn to burn our great profit. So this will get us 1148 more. And then now we'll finish divine, right? Now, again, is that as good as the shrine? Probably not, but we're going to get another uh, J-Man built a great library. So he's off on the top part of the tree. I'm worried that he's going to discover philosophy first and found his own religion and drop out of our Christian block. I guess that wouldn't be the worst thing because then everybody else would start to dislike him. Everyone who's Christian would start to dislike him. But anyway, so I got bounced away from this city. Hey, remember how I split off that worker to work on this other tile? Yeah, that was why. Good timing there. So, uh, we will work this tile here at Coppola's Vineyard, overworking one of the other tiles, and Divine Right will finish at end of turn. Oh, so we'll have to put... Uh, we're just barely short of finishing this, so uh, who's ready to fall on their sword and help us out here? How about you, Wild Rice? Oh, you're going to whip the library. Actually, no, you're going to whip the Christian monastery. But for this turn, there we go. Just build wealth for a turn. We'll fix that next turn. So that I finish this, and then I can go in the capital right from the missionary onto Spiral Minaret. Okay, this, I believe this tile is almost done with its road, yeah. Now, why the game decided to suddenly teleport me to the other side of the map, I have no idea. Oh yeah, I wanted to go see what was going on with Rome over here. I kind of stopped that to explore more of Portugal's territory. I pretty much can see all of J-Man's territory, and I can see pretty much all of Alex's territory. All right, uh, up here, next thing we need to do is get cottages on these tiles so we can work the cottages over the water tiles. But we're doing a, we're, it's coming along nicely in terms of uh, improved tiles there. Alex and Toku's feud is, it's definitely hurting both of them. Like Augustus has now climbed ahead of them in power too. I'm a little surprised I'm not getting the trading bonus from him. Let's see if we can do something about that. Cause I wouldn't mind getting one of these. Um, now is there anything I can trade him that I do not need? Uh, furs, that's right. Cause I'm about to hook up a second source of furs. Let's just get this deal going. Help improve relations, because we're about to hook up our second source of furs, and that'll get us another resource. Yeah, uh, well, I'm pretty sure, so like, if you look at the demos, right, um, so like, I'm second in food, I'm pretty sure that this is J-Man, so I, I don't, whatever AI we haven't met yet I, is not the biggest threat. The biggest threat is Portugal, I'm pretty sure. Like, I am concerned about them long term because they have significantly more territory than anyone else and also uh, territory that's going to lead to massive size 18 cities everywhere while the rest of us are stuck on smaller 
settlements. Like, that's part of the issue is I can't, I can only grow these cities so far. There's just not enough food to get them up to larger sizes, unfortunately. But we'll see what happens long term. If we have to, I, I, I'm hoping to play a peaceful game, but if it's not possible, it's not possible. I am the state. So, oh, do we want to found Islam or Confucianism? We probably should do Islam because that gives us Judaism plus Christianity plus Islam, all the Abrahamic faiths. Thematically, it would seem to be appropriate over Confucianism, but if chat really wants Confucianism, we could go for it. It just seems like it would be more thematically appropriate. And I think Ragnar is right that we should check just to make sure that there's not another seafood resource up there in the north. All right, now that we have delayed, we will go back for metal casting machinery so that we can get these windmills. And then after that, I think we want civil service paper so we can get Sankor. I want to make absolutely sure I have the, the monk. Um, all right, so chat agreed. That's good to hear. Uh, I want to get, I want to make sure I have all of the monk wonders. Um, and since we're building this wonder, let's cut a turn, shave a turn off that. With stone, it's nice that I have stone, which is the one, the uh, resource that powers all of them. Copal is fine is the one that founded Islam. Huh. We do have stone. All right, well, I know where we're gonna send the missionary, right over here to Bay Victus, so that it can build another temple and another monastery. Yeah, again, it, it is close to popping this. And then, yeah, we'll build another temple and another monastery. That's about the best we can do. I will also build a Christian cathedral here, which will give me plus 50%. Um, as soon as I get can get to music, um, I'll do that as well. All right, so. Shop. Still not quite close to finishing that granary, but uh, we can one pop whip the granary, so I will probably do that. The city just needs a granary desperately to be not terrible. <laughs> yeah, boy, those two, uh, Alex and Toka, really. Oh man, that was a some pretty significant fighting over here. Alex took some big losses, at least in terms of power. GNP. Looks like Freddy's researching something that just causes GNP to spike. Food. Yeah, Portugal is the number one by a wide margin. Production were relatively close. Okay, Freddy has, does not have much in the way of production. I guess we'll just keep an eye on this fighting here for now. Um, so, yeah, I'll just double check. As Ragnar suggested, just to make absolutely sure that there's not a fish up here. I don't think that there is. There's a barbarian, Galley. Because if there was a fish right here, we would absolutely drop another city on this. Alrighty, so all my cities are converted, right? Yeah. So let's send this towards Alex's territory. Get another one of his big, juicy cities converted. Probably Sparta. Hop on board that boat. Uh, let's see. I don't think it can get into the boat next turn because I don't have construction. Yeah, I'll probably take another. I don't think it can get further than this city next turn. Oh, well. Alrighty. Uh, oh, I was going to two pop whip this, wasn't I? And I never did. Well, that was sloppy of me. I'll just have to wait and then whip the courthouse. We're at half the courthouses we need now. Oh well. It only take four more turns. Hmm. Or I could just whip the. Uh, I guess I'll let the monastery finish and let the let it keep growing until then. All right. Let's go see what Roman cities over here. So our break-even is up to almost 50%. And look at this, we're 113 gold per turn at 0% science. Nice. Um, I, yeah, I should probably get the... I need to get that ivory connected at some point. Um, I have more important stuff for the workers to do. But it's true, I should connect this at some point. 
that's kind of been the, a, a, a running through line in this game is needing um, always something more important for the workers to do. Also, it looks like I need more health resources soon because I'm about to hit the health cap. I actually have a lot of health resources, but um, but the problem is I don't have we. Oh, uh, I was gonna say I don't have corn. That's that's what hurts me is I lost my corn. Maybe Augustus has. Apparently, he's not willing to trade me resources for whatever reason. Maybe he doesn't have any. But yeah, losing that corn hurt. Maybe I'll even be able to get it back. As I said, I am about to pop the borders to the next uh, threshold. Okay, whips. Are there any places I need to whip? Uh, yes, wild rice should drop the wealth. I was going to two pop with this next turn. Valley of Kells is going to finish its market and then probably either whip or build this courthouse. It's just really waiting for, to get to metal casting. So it can, uh, or uh, not metal casting, uh, machinery, so I can actually build, <laughs> so I can actually build windmills. Uh, up here, piggyback and silver haggish. Their whip duration is just about to run out, so we'll whip that next turn. And silver haggis can probably build a missionary because I don't have anything else immediate for it to build. If there's nothing crucial to build. Grab me another missionary. I can always use those. And these cities are still developing. Uh, this city, two prop whips its lighthouse. Probably next turn. Yeah, probably next turn. And then the dump's going to whip its granary, so it actually can grow there. All right, so Silver Haggis, yeah, you work on this. And instead of this, give me a scientist. I don't need more production right now to build the missionary faster. Uh, I will try to mine these. Well, I think I might actually prefer windmills on these tiles. But I don't have uh, that tech yet. <laughs> So yeah, let's have you get me this monastery. And then once I have these two buildings done, we'll probably just work the water tiles at plus four food per turn. Because that would still give me a five base production, which is not all, which is not terrible. Plus organized religion, get me to six production per turn. Anyway. All right, so we've got the wines done. Uh, all right, so that is not great. Freddy, uh, Freddy founded the philosophy religion, and now he's got a competing religion. Well, if he really gets angry with me down the road, we could always look to annex his territory. Freddy is not a strong competitor, and taking over his territory <laughs> would be nice, but for the time being, he's still in my religion for now, but because he founded his own religion, he will probably flip out of it in time. Um, well, we'll see. As I said, he probably will flip out of it in time. All right, so I have tiles to improve down here for wild rice. So I'm going to send at least two of these workers down here. I was trying to see if I wanted to send a third or if I wanted to keep them up. No, I think I will send all three. I think the work's more important to get done down there. Like, there's a lot of tiles to be cleaned out, and um, we will be able to build windmills not that far down the road. Trade wine for corns? I mean, I would. Let's see if anyone has corn to trade. He does. Oh, he already has wine. He doesn't have copper, though. He certainly has iron. I don't know how he doesn't have... Actually, maybe he'll even give it to me as a good friend. All right, no. It was worth a shot. Sometimes they give you that. Um, I can't, I have to imagine he has iron somewhere in his territory. Yeah, he does. We saw him with swords anyway, so of course he does. So giving him copper doesn't really do a lot for him. Yeah, I figured copper's worth a lot as a strategic resource. So yes, I'll take two resources and 11 gold per turn. Thank you. I figured that he might give me, he would give me more for that. Cool. So I traded away an excess resource I didn't need. Uh, anyway, Alex has finally signed peace, which means he can now look to declare on someone else. All right, so there was not a, a, a resource up here, but we were right to check. Now, do I want to whip this to get the granary? It's not an efficient whip, but... Alternately, I could do this. Actually, that's better. We'll just let the granary finish here for two turns. Yeah, 
finish the granary and then it can go back to growing again. And I think that's about it for these workers as far as this city goes. Alright. So I think we'll finish the courthouse because it's so close and then we'll get the religious buildings after that. Alright, Animal Farm is currently at the growth limit. There. Uh, oops. Stay on that tile then for the time being. Actually, I think we can go here and it doesn't affect the ETA. So we'll do that. Poor Dune Bridget is <sighs> struggling a bit. Alright. If it's a turn faster, we'll go here. I do want to farm this tile though. And uh, this city was ready to whip, wasn't it? Yeah. To pop into the market, reset the whip counter. I guess we can do the barracks afterwards. This is fine up here for right now. Uh, and this city, Doom Potato, I wanted to whip. There we go. It does stack up another whip duration, but as I said, that's fine. I don't, like, this city is perfectly fine on happiness. It's not even remotely close to the cap. All right, we already took care of this city, Jameson Town. I, yeah, we're gonna let finish that because why not? And then whip the courthouse, which will probably be a three pop whip, so it's fine. Yeah, the whole reason why this city is struggling is Antium has the Colossus and it has the Oracle, both in this city. Two wonders in this city is the reason why it's outputting so much culture. There's just dumb luck of where that AI happened to build it. Like, if the Oracle had been built in Rome, it would have been no problem. Oh, by the way, this is a terrible capital city. Poor Rome. <laughs> this is the dreaded Plains Cow start. Um, Plains Cow and no other food bonuses. That's pretty brutal. Like, I don't think my start's great, but Augustus is even worse. Yeah, it is his second city. All right, so we finished that. Um, what we're probably gonna build here next is, could I do a missionary? Yeah, sure, all right, do the missionary, why not? Um, I was gonna say we probably will next build, I think, he, no, we wanna get the build, these building the temple next because it's so cheap. Um, I was going to say, I think the next thing we build is the, uh, is a forge, but we don't have enough for that. We don't have the research done yet. Hey, Christianity spread in the city. Nice. Chichen Itza. Okay, well, we weren't planning on fighting Rome. The good news is he didn't put that in the border city, so the culture doesn't affect us. I guess this guy can just explore a little bit more of Alex's territory while he's over here. Uh, no, um, Antium is not a holy city. Yeah, so we will finally tick over the, that threshold. And it's been holding steady at 6039 for a while, and that's without me being over 500 culture. So hopefully we'll be, we'll be okay there. All right, you guys are coming down here. Okay, so we'll be able to cottage this with two of you and then uh, road down to the jungle with the third one. And Wild Rice needs to whip this monastery, which I think I let go for one turn longer than I ideal. What's the production count? Oh, well. Still a two-pot whip, which is what we wanted. Um, and I'm wondering if I should farm or cottage this. I think it's fine with the cottage because these are all going to be windmills. I'll still be able to get plus five food and these will all be windmills. Uh, also, did I already build a temple here? No, I did not. So I want the overflow to go into the temple, not the library. We do want to finish the library in time, but the temples we want to do first. All right, so we finished that. So pick up the cottage. Oh, we're break even at 50% now, nice. All right, that means we can do metal casting and finish in two turns. How's our GMP looking? Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. We're, we're making progress on GMP. Food is an issue because we don't have anywhere near as many cities as J-Man. 
and I am concerned long term about this, but food's looking good. We may have to stomp on Frederick, even though I don't want to, just because Portugal is so large. I'm sh I'm not sure if we beat him in a fair in a fair game or in a purely peaceful game. But we've got time for that down the road. We're certainly going to outscale Germany. There's no question about that. All right, so monastery first because that provides more culture. Uh, let's see, so we got done the granary, so now we'll do the temple. And that will finish never. Um, <laughs> but it's fine. Just very, very slowly make progress towards that. Very slowly. For the dump. Maybe I'll convert these two into, um... The monastery. I could chop the two forests into the monastery. That would give that would double the culture, and it would give us. It would also provide some production. The uh, maybe that maybe I will do that. Like burning the forest is not ideal long term, but yeah, I think I probably will do that. All right, well, anyway, so that was, there was nothing up there. Fortunately, we don't have to care about the, um, that barb ship bouncing around. Yeah, this city just kind of sitting around here. Uh, do I want to whip this for two? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I'll just whip that. Overflow can go towards probably a courthouse. Just trying to reveal all the cities. All right. So you come down here, and you can head back for the next missionary. Maybe someday we'll have the road finished through here, but we don't have it yet. So you are headed for Sparta. Uh, maybe Corinth first, because it doesn't. I don't have to win the dice roll there. You want to go for the larger pop cities because the AI makes its decisions based on the population, like total population in each religion. About putting a fishing village on the German border. Uh, I don't know where there would be room for a fishing village on the German border. There's an unused clam. Um, there's no legal tile. To, there is an unused clam, but there's no legal tile to put a city down. This is not a legal spot for a city because uh, it's only two tiles from Coppola's vineyard. If I could somehow put another city there to make use of the clams, I certainly would. But uh, as I said, it's not a legal. There is. It is not a legal spot, unfortunately. So here I'd get more missionaries, but I think I've used up all my missionary slots, so that's fine. We'll use this opportunity. Um, we'll use this opportunity to get the library done a little bit faster. And we're five out of six on courthouses now. So Jameson Town. I think we'll put this forest towards the Forbidden Palace. We'll um, we'll finish the monastery. We queue up the also, we've got another cottage done, so we'll work that. We'll um, queue up the courthouse next turn. We will uh, double whip the courthouse, put the overflow into Forbidden Palace, and we'll chop into that. And honestly, it should it won't it'll probably only take about ten turns, to be honest. <laughs> Shouldn't take that long at all. We've got good base production. We'll have ten base with the. Or you know what? Maybe we'll. Is this or is it a requirement to have a courthouse done to build? Yeah, it is a requirement. I was gonna say otherwise I could do the forge first, stack it up with organized religion, but um. I uh, I don't have that. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll I'm gonna burn these into these. I'm gonna burn two forest chops into the monastery here, to both pop the borders faster and also um, get some production in that city. But yeah, we'll have metal casting done next turn. That's nice. I don't really love building missionaries up here because they're so far away from the, like there's so much travel time and getting them down to these ships, which is where I want to send them. And them that take the sword shall perish by the sword. All right. So through that, on the machinery. Got to get those windmills. Water mills, not so useful on this map. Got to get those windmills, though. And uh, then I think our next path after that is civil service, because bureaucracy is better than nothing, which is what I'm running in that 
uh, civic category right now. Um, we can go civil service, and then we're double prereqs on paper for Sankor. And then we've got our monk, uh, our monk trio of buildings. All right, now we can go on to forge here. This is also helpful for cultural purposes up here in Lapland too. All right, so we've got our double temples, and uh, so now we do forge. And we're just going to work, I'm going to emphasize food, and we'll just let the city grow, work water tiles, and whip for production. Plus four food per turn. All right, courthouse. The city definitely needs a courthouse. Economy is starting to come along nicely. So two of you, actually, <laughs> Islam is spread in Lisbon. Oh, of all things to spread in Lisbon. Christianity spreading for free in Sparta is really nice, though. Oh, actually, so that city already had religion. Alex must have spread that himself. Nice. Save me the missionary. Just want to make sure I'm moving on roads. I expect that I am, but... Yeah, I mean, it helps if you can get an AI converted to your religion. They'll sometimes, like, do a lot of the spreading for you. I am glad that Freddy is the one who founded um, the Confucianism religion and not uh, J-Man. Uh, you, I need to road that tile. I don't know why I'm moving this guy around here. He's not even bringing in any information now. All right, you can just go back to that spot. Uh, so you probably need to come down here. If, let's see, so Sparta has been converted. If I can convert Corinth and Ephesus, I'll feel pretty confident that um, Alex is not flipping out of my religion anytime soon. So let's send him down here. And then after that, we'll really try to focus on Portugal. So let's bring this missionary down here too. So there's got to be another Roman city here, and indeed there is. Yeah, Rome ended up uh, getting a little bit more territory than I thought they'd get. Like, because like this initial core looked super constrained, but then Rome got four more cities in this little corner here. At least four, yeah, only four. And got over to Mediolanum here. Too bad it wasn't able to push a little bit further, but it was already completely blocked off by Portugal. This desert area is still unsettled by the AIs. How big is Tokugawa, just out of curiosity? Two, four, six, eight. He has 10 cities. Okay, that's about average. Freddy is the only one who's really, wait, two, four, six, eight. How did he get up to nine cities? Where are his other cities? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He has two other cities out there somewhere. Where did he get more cities? Is there another island out there somewhere? He obviously found room for two more cities out there, though. I don't know where they are. Like Stuttgart. Where's Stuttgart? Yeah, he has he has two cities out there. Maybe they're down further to the south in this direction. I, I don't know. But yeah, he has two more cities. He has nine. We can't trade for his map yet, but uh, if we get paper, we'll be able to trade for his map. Right, chop. So yeah, we are almost break even at 60%, so I could certainly, I would certainly love to put more cities down somewhere. There's just no room for, for cities. Unless they're ones that have literally no food at all. <laughs> like, I don't think it's worthwhile to put a city down here. The terrain's really weak. Like, I could find a fishing village that has no food bonuses and no forest to chop. It doesn't feel worthwhile either. Well... Maybe that means we need to... Well, he's got a lot of money, too. Maybe that means we need to get optics after this. I do want to push for paper as my next goal. That way we'd also be able to get for... Um, we'd be able to trade for maps and find out more info about what's out there. Maybe he already has optics? No, but we would have seen caravels. Like, we've been able to see his stuff, so he, I, he must have just found land somewhere else. My best guess is down here to the south somewhere. I can't imagine where else it would be, though. Possible islands to the southwest? Um, maybe. maybe. You know what? Let's grab our... We're not ferrying any units right now. Let's grab our galley and see if we can explore. See if there's anything that, like, is out here. We, we still can't move on ocean tiles, whereas he can. 
But at least we can go take a peek and see if there's anything over there. All right, we'll put the city on a forge. This isn't a particularly great city, but it does at least have 12 base production and it's bringing in a fair amount of commerce. It just can't do anything else for lack of food. Here we got the market done, that's nice. So we'll do the forge next, I think, to power up future stuff. Again, as soon as we have windmills, it's gonna be a great city. Like, it'll have plus four food surplus and we'll just windmill like every tile here. We just can't do that yet. All right, so we got that tile improved. Finish eroding that. Oh, seriously, why? Take me up to the top of the map. Unfortunately, this means Portugal's gonna build a wonder of their choice now that they got a great engineer. Christianity spreading in Gnosis is great, though. Wow. This is, Alex is making my job easy here. By uh, spreading my religion everywhere. So we're going to grab Corinth at this missionary. And then I set a thesis with the next missionary. And after that, we'll focus on Portugal because Portugal is not spreading my religion. And we can actually do this. Start chopping. All right, next up, whip this courthouse for sure. Actually, again, a lot of overflow from that. For some reason, it's not showing me the production. Like, highlighting this bar is not showing. Like, I can see the food, but it's not showing me how much production I get on that. Anyway, though, we'll get a lot of overflow from that. And um, let's have you guys chop this. Chop. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Looks like land northwest of the fish. Uh, could be. That's an ocean tile, so I can't pass over it. But of course, he could in his borders. All right, go on to the forge. This city I recently whipped. Get the courthouse, so on to Forbidden Palace. Yeah, it's our only 15 turns, and that's without chops and without working this tile. I'll probably work that tile to speed it along faster. Stop the war against Alex. I'm going to just abstain. So who is at war with Alex, by the way? Oh, it's J-Man. Oh, I wish I'd seen that. I think I would have voted for Stop the War. Whoa. Religion spreading everywhere. Oh, it was Alex who started it. Well, <laughs> I don't know if that was the best decision, but maybe he'll be able to slow this guy down. We'll see. Eh, maybe not the worst thing. I feel like this is probably going to backfire horribly, but we'll have a chance to stop the war later if we need to. Yeah, we'll have a chance to stop the war later. We'll, we'll, we'll be able to have the chance to stop the war again at some point. So. Now let's go head over there and watch. <laughs> Hopefully Alex will slow him down a bit without losing his own cities. Maybe we can stop the war if it starts to... Alex looks like he's going to get run over. <laughs> All right, so these workers are done now. So I'm going to come down here and uh, improve these tiles. I'd like to put windmills on them, actually. But the good news is we're about to finish that. Only three turns away. <laughs> or Freddy might put a stop to it. That's true. Or we might. I might just be... I'm like... The others might all just vote to stop the war. That's also a possibility. Alright. So windmilling a tile is generally the way to go if you need more food. So for a city that's low on food, it would generally be when you would want to put a windmill down. That's not a hard, like that doesn't take care of every situation, but that's a ge good general rule is when you need uh, more food. Okay, so again, we seem to have been mostly holding our own here on this. Uh, as I said, I will probably try to get up to music and build cathedrals in this city. Now that will not be cheap to do. 
Um, but that would be probably the plan. It's, it's a shame I can't run artist specialists. There's just not enough food here. This city's about to go over 500 culture, and that will help, though. Let's see, 24, because this city, Dune Bridget, will also start putting culture on this tile. Because once it hits 500 culture, it'll reach the, it, its culture will reach out to that tile and start helping out. Although this city also is not the best at that. All right, uh, I'm trying to see where I had additional whips ready to go. Uh, not here. This city's fine. I, just growing right now. It'll get a courthouse eventually. Oh, here we had the forest chop coming good. So I wanted this to go into the monastery because the monastery is double the culture and then this will finish the monastery next turn. And then we'll put the overflow from that chop into the temple. So I'm glad I caught that. It's not super important or anything, but it does help a bit. All right, that's done there. We'll have to probably do the forge next. And then get more mission. By the way, how much is uh how much is my capital up to? We're up to 33 cities now with Christianity. <laughs> That's uh 40% of the world is now following my religion. Not, not too shabby. That's a lot of the world's population. We'll just keep keep getting that out. I, I said by the end of the game we would be at 40. We're already at 33. <laughs> so it looks like we should easily blow past 40. It succeeds. Okay, I didn't even have to do anything. So this is like the best possible outcome. Alex declared on uh, J-Man, those two now will not like each other. They'll be, they like, they'll both get angry at one another. And the the um, war was stopped anyway, even without me chiming in. I also now have gotten a larger share of the votes for the Apostolic Palace up to the 162. Although the religion is so widely spread that like everyone has a lot of votes. This is not like the cheese only put one, uh, <laughs> only spread it to one city of the AI. Also, I saw that some of the AIs had finished, um, I saw that some of the AIs had finished with, uh, alphabet text. So we should take a look at what text people have and what they don't have. Yeah, you guys are right. So there is a connection, but there was never any chance for me to go over there. Because look, I can't pass through there. So there must be an island over here. This does mean that we should probably slot up optics in the queue because we know there's more land out there. All right, so that'll finish that. Oh, well, so much for that war. Classic AI survivor shutting down a war. Anyway, this will finish the monastery and then there'll be some overflow into the temple. And then that'll get us get the city up to four culture per turn instead of two. Uh, and then the temple will take it to five. As I said, too bad I don't have Sistine. But uh, I never had um, marble, and Sistine's pretty expensive without marble. I was wondering if he had built a city here, but it doesn't look like it. Alright, so Jameson Town. We'll run that just to get the Forbidden Palace done a little bit sooner. And I'm wondering if I want to windmill some of these tiles. I don't think so, because I think I'd rather work the water tiles, but probably is still better to mine them. Anyway, I guess you can just road that tile while you're there. Alright, so Jameson Town, yeah, it's down to nine turns for the Forbidden Palace. It's pretty good. Now we have Kells and Wild Rice. Again, still mostly waiting for this stuff to finish. Uh, that library is almost done, but I don't... I could finish this next turn, but I don't want to pull off a cottage to do that. I don't think that that's a worthwhile trade. So we'll just cottage this anyway. So we're definitely looking... We're looking good against every AI other than Portugal. Like, research is coming along nicely. Food is ahead of everyone except Portugal. We're 100 food behind Portugal, though, which is really not a good sign. Uh, let's look at the texts that have been discovered. So right now, uh, Augustus and Freddy have finished um, finished researching Alphabet. So let's see. He has aesthetics. He's up on us aesthetics. Wait, are these all the texts he has that we don't have? 
Feudalism, Civil Service, Aesthetics, Alphabet, Calendar, Arch. Uh, he does have a lot of texts. We he has quite a few texts that we don't um, that we don't have. What do we have that he doesn't have? And he's got Freddie also has quite a few things that we don't have. Hmm, I seem to be in a position of catching up. Well, I obviously have Divine Right, <laughs> which the others do not have. And is that about it? Am I am I still behind in tech? Am I still catching up? Yeah, it looks like I am behind in tech, honestly. Just trying to see what else do I have? I guess I don't really have a lot that they are missing. Theology, maybe? I guess I'm still behind in tech. I, I guess that's a good sign that I'm lead ahead of them in score, even though I'm still behind in tech. My uh, teching was not great in this game because, you know, zero cottages at the capital of the whole game. Yeah, I don't know if I have anything that they don't have, so I need to keep catching up here. Fortunately, I should be able to do that. Oh, I wanted to see what they have towards astronomy and uh, optics. So, neither one of them has compass. Okay. So, this means that there is no um, overseas stuff. Anything that Freddy has over here is just purely due to his borders popping. Are we going to make it without archery? Well, seeing as how everyone's pleased with us except Toku, and Toku can't reach us, I think we're okay. So it's certainly been an interesting game. Now oh, this timing is perfect. I just got the cottages done, and now I'm going to be able to start tossing down the uh, windmills. Also, I need to get more workers. Even three is probably not enough here. Another Christian spread? All right, well, Christianity is starting to spread on its own. Either that or missionaries are spreading it. So it looks like I don't even have to necessarily spread it on my own. The AIs will just do a lot of it for me. That's fantastic. All right, so you've come over here to Ephesus. But yeah, it looks like I've... Uh... Oh, and you can hop on board and head over there for next turn. So I can't... Get over there yeah it might look like i can but i can't i need to start moving that galley back because i will want to ferry these workers back eventually like they are they're starting to run out of work to do so like i said the timing's really nice we will start windmilling some of these tiles oh well rice duh swap to the cottage of course uh so I probably need to pull these two workers back, but I have now foolishly moved my ship up here, and I'll take a couple turns to get back. Because I could use another worker or two here, since I'm starting to run, I've mostly improved the tiles I need to improve on this island. I can just keep two workers here as opposed to four. All right, in any case though, uh, let's see, what do we want to improve first? How about right here? That works for me, because Valley of Kells probably needs help more so than other actually well we let's get the tile we don't have to clear jungle on first this one all right this city instead of doing that well i'll guess i'll let the barracks finish but i was going to say i probably should be building not the barracks there still will let it finish and we are about to finish spiral minaret so that's a plus I've also been looking for opportunities to flip into cast system and run specialist, but I haven't seen too many chances to do that. Like here I can run this, but I don't need to be in cast system because I have double scientist specialist there. Uh, this city just growing. I'll whip that forge eventually, but it doesn't need it right now. Monastery is going to finish here. Just out of curiosity. Let's see what the culture is on this tile. So Augustus is ahead by about 250 culture points. It's 4415 to 4183. Let's see what that difference is. I've got the calculator here. 4415 minus uh, 4183. So 232. Thanks, I see chat got, got it as well. And on the actual city tile itself, uh, I have 4,194 to 2841. So I'm well ahead on the actual tile itself. 
I'm just looking to see if there's anywhere I need to whip here. I don't think so. All right, so it was 232. Let's hit next turn and see. Oh, we're gonna get a wonder completion, which is nice. A god from the machine. All right, so as I said, I think we go civil service to paper next, so we can get Sangkor as well. Get all the monk wonders. Yeah, that seemed to make a huge difference in terms of income, because now we're only minus 53 at 100% research. I'll set this to the forge for right now. So yeah, every... So now the monk... Now the, all the buildings have gotten that much more powerful. Now um, a monastery is plus 2 production, plus 2 gold, plus 2 culture, plus 10% um, research. So we are continuing to try to push more culture in this city. Do the forge here. Just onto the courthouse. All right, let's look at, before I forget, let's, so this was 230, difference of 232 last turn. So now it's 4494. 4494 minus, or 4495 minus 4256. Okay, uh, it went up by nine. I was, it's 239 and now it, it was 232, now it's 239. So uh, I'm losing, I'm down by seven culture per turn there. That's not too bad. Like if I can get a cathedral in there, it'll, it would be enough to flip it pretty much right there. Oh, whoops, I need to go one more tile. This is on the road. That's not too bad. Yeah, it was suggested you could build that I could build a, a city down here to try and help out. But I'm, I'm still not sure that there's enough to justify that. It would probably have to go on the elephants to be useful at all. Would it be more useful to drop off missionary? Um, hmm... No, I don't think so, because even if I was sitting here to load up, it would be one, two... Oh, actually, yeah, you're right. I could I could have keep the ship here and then unload in Farsless. That would be faster. It wouldn't make a huge difference, but it would still save a little bit of time. All right. So we want to help out up there, but we can do... We can sink a turn into windmilling here, as opposed to wasting that turn moving and doing nothing. The game really wants me to move this scout, by the way. You could share the pigs. Which pigs is that? What city? Oh, I see what you... Well, but see, the problem is... Yeah, I mean, that's true, but if I do that, then Valley of Kells is basically a useless city. See, I was going to put a city here, but as soon as Valley of Kells was founded, it kind of removed the need to put a city down there kind of lost that incentive as soon as that happened. So like I can put a city there at the expense of crippling uh, a useful city. Like Valley of Kells already is a low food city. So uh, anyway, I'll, I will think about it. All right. All right. Five turns. That sounds good to me. Uh, now, as for what we're doing here, so as for these tiles, note that I am not close to flipping any of these anytime soon. Freddy has 416, and I don't have more than 56, so that's not going to happen until I go over 100 culture. That's what I have to do to have any luck there, go over the 100 culture margin. But, you know, finish the temple, whip the library, maybe. You never know. All right. Um... So, 
not a lot of tiles left to improve here. I'll just have them do some busy work until I can stick them back on the boat again. This tile I actually wanted to windmill, although what would it be? Two, nah, actually, it might be better just to mine this tile, even though I was thinking windmill. Might still be better to mine it. So our break-even, now, by the way, if you want to see the different spiral minaret made, we are now break-even at 80%. <laughs> 80%, that's now our break-even rate. So that's pre that's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. So economically, we're in pretty good shape. Now we just need a place to put more cities down. Um, and it certainly doesn't hurt that we've got these this our religion in uh, 36 cities now. So we'll push, next up, we will push for, um, we're gonna push for paper. We'll grab uh, Sankor. We'll get some more map knowledge some more knowledge from map trading. Um, and then we'll probably go back and clean up some of the texts we're missing, many of which are very cheap right now. Like, look, construction's a one-turn research at break-even. Okay, that's not entirely fair because we have some overflow research, but still. Um, there's a big known tech bonus on a lot of these, and then we can go back and clean them up pretty cheaply with that known tech bonus. And we'll, we'll get some, we'll probably push for music next. Uh, either that or we might go for, actually we might go for optics. Music, I would like, so I can get um, build cathedrals, but optics to get some caribals in the water exploring might be better. But um, this is where we're gonna stop for today because we just finished the wonder and um, we're in pretty good shape overall. So, excuse me, we will come back to this and uh, we'll come back to this, I guess, uh, next week on Friday. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this. This was a nice relaxing session, not too stressful. I was able to pull ahead of all the AIs with the exception of Portugal, which we identified is going to be a problem. That is going to be the long-term challenge is what do we do about Portugal? Because they are by far the strongest AI and it's not really close. All right then, thanks for the stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a happy Halloween and I'll see you guys next week. Until then, have a good one. Take care. Bye guys.